Oscar's mansion won't hold us back. Keep pressing forward. I want every inch of this place under our control. Hold the line. Protect the mansion at all costs. You always did know how to throw a good party. Idiot's your last. Sir, the mansion is under attack. Montague's forces have breached our defenses. I'm aware. Rally our men. We need to push them back. But, sir, there are too many of them. Then we fight harder. This is our ground. I won't let Montague take what's ours. Understood, sir. We'll hold them off as long as we can. And I'll join the front lines. Montague wants a fight. He'll get one. Let's show them the might of Oscar's mansion. Time to show these intruders they picked the wrong mansion. Hey, you're not supposed to... Ah! One down. Two down, there can't be much more. Did Montague send the best he's got? I'm almost disappointed. Hey Oscar, ready to surrender your fancy mansion? I was thinking you could use it. One down, who's next? You'll pay for this! It's going to take more than that to rattle these old bones. Impressive, Oscar. But I'll be back with a plan you won't see coming. Jonesy, my mansion, and it's been attacked. It's chaos out there. What happened? Any idea who's behind this? I have my suspicions. It's got Montague written all over it. That guy's trouble. We need a plan. What are you thinking? We need intel, fast. I was thinking of Valeria at the Grand Glacier Hotel. She knows Montague's moves. Valeria, huh? She's sharp. Could have the lead we need. Exactly. I'm thinking we pay her a visit. See what she knows about Montague's plans. Let's do it. But be careful, Oscar. Montague is dangerous and unpredictable. Danger's my middle name, Jonesy. Let's gear up and head out. I'm with you. Let's uncover what Montague's up to and put a stop to his game. Valeria, we have serious matters to discuss. It's about Montague. Montague. The name rings a bell, but that's about it. What's your concern? Come on, Valeria. We're not here for pleasantries. Montague's attack on Oscar's mansion can't be a coincidence. You know him, don't you? Listen, I just run this hotel. I don't keep tabs on every guest's acquaintances. Montague hasn't been here, not that I recall. We had hoped you'd be more cooperative. Thanks anyway, Valeria. Montague, it's me. Oscar and Jonesy just left. They suspect your involvement. Be careful. Good work, Valeria. Keep your eyes open. I'll set up a little surprise for our friends. Valeria seems shifty. Think she's hiding something? Definitely. Keep an eye out. Put your foot to the floor, Oscar! 
Jonesy, hold on. That was too close. Montague's guards are getting bolder. We need more intel fast. Let's head to the yacht. Peter, we've got a problem. Montague's after us. And here I thought today couldn't get more entertaining. Listen, Peter, you're our last lead. Where's Montague? What do I look like? The island's information booth? This isn't a joke. People are in danger. All right, all right. The word is Montague's hiding in some fancy villa down south. But good luck getting past his army of goons. An army? Great. Just what we needed. Don't thank me yet. Montague's not the type to sit around. He's planning something big, I hear. We appreciate the intel. Sure, sure. Now, if you don't mind, I was in the middle of my me time. South it is. Let's hope Peter's right about this. With Montague, expect the unexpected. This is our chance to find out his plans. Montague is leaving. Let's search for any clues. He must have left something behind. Nothing. Not a single clue. Then let's leave him a message he can't ignore. That'll get his attention. Let's see how he likes coming home to this. I'm on it. This train won't know what hit it. Peter, remember, this is a stealth mission. No screw-ups. Stealth, right? Like the time I tried to sneak into a chicken fight. Nice landing, Peter. Now let's find that secret cargo. Okay, Peter, you can do this, just like in the movies. I'm Peter Griffin, secret agent, man. Are you serious? As serious as a chicken fight on a Tuesday. Oops, well, that worked. Two down, one to go. This is easier than I thought. You think you can stop me, Mr. Griffin? You are nothing but a fat slob. I faced worse. Ever met my neighbor, Joe? This is like trying to argue with Lois. Oscar, the bad guy, got away. And I didn't even get to use my one-liners. Oscar, that Montague guy gave me the slip. My mission was a bust. Peter, don't worry. We're going to introduce you to a new team. They'll help us catch Montague. A team? Like in the movies? Do I get a cool code name? We can work on the code name. The team is made up of the best agents we have. You won't be alone in this. That sounds awesome. But uh, do they know about my special skills? They're aware of your unique attributes, Peter. They're looking forward to working with you. 
So, who are these mystery teammates? Are we talking ninjas, super spies? Or maybe even a talking dog? Because I have experience with that last one. Not exactly, they're skilled agents, each with their own strengths. You'll meet them soon enough. All right, I'm ready. Peter Griffin, secret agent man, is on the case. Montague won't know what hit him. Good spirit, Peter. Let's head to the underground base to meet Agent Jonesy. Lead the way, boss. This is gonna be like a buddy cop movie, except with more buddies and less cop. Welcome to our little tech haven, Peter. I'm Jonesy, your go-to guy for all things gadgetry. Wow, this place is like a super spy's dream. Do you have those pens that turn into helicopters? Not exactly, but I've got some gear here that's sure to help you against Montague. I'll leave you in Jonesy's capable hands. I need to head back to base and track down Montague's location. This stuff is amazing. What does this button do? Whoa, careful with that. That's the mini grenade launcher. Let me give you a quick rundown on how to use these safely. Mini SMG machine gun. Cool. Do I get a jetpack too? No jetpacks, but I've got something even better. Check out the stealth sniper. Stealthy and stylish. I like it. So, who's this next member of the team I'm meeting? You'll meet Hope next. She's our tactical expert and quite the sharpshooter. She'll help you fine-tune those combat skills. Hope? Huh. With a name like that, she sounds tough. I can't wait to meet her. Let's get you ready for your next mission. you could make it, Peter. Hop in. We've got some ground to cover. So, you're going to turn me into an assassin? I hope there's not a test at the end. I'm not great with those. Hope's the best in the business, Peter. You're in good hands. First things first, Peter. Being an assassin is about precision and patience. You think you can handle that? Precision and patience? I once waited two hours for a hot dog at a baseball game. I've got this. All right. See that guard? I want you to take a shot. Remember, breathe and focus. Here goes nothing. Nice shot. You're a natural, Peter. I hit it? I hit it. Maybe I do have a knack for this. Not bad at all. With a bit more training, you'll be a formidable force against Montague. Does this mean I get a cool assassin nickname? How about the Griffin? Great job, Peter, but we should head back. Oscar might have found Montague's location by now. Remember, Peter, patience and precision. Keep practicing. Thanks, Hope. I won't let you down. The Griffin is ready for action. Oscar, you should have seen me out there. I was like, pow, pow, right on target. He's not kidding, Oscar. Peter's got some real talent. Good to hear, Peter. We need all the skills we can muster for what's coming. So what's the plan, boss? When do I get to show Montague the Griffin in action? I've located Montague's base. It's hidden by the coast and heavily guarded. This won't be easy. We're ready for anything, Oscar. Just say the word. The plan is to strike at night. Stealth is key. You'll need to be well armed for this. Heavily guarded, you say? Sounds like my kind of party. Gear up from the vault. 
Choose your weapons carefully. This mission is critical. Don't worry, Oscar. The Griffin is about to take flight. Let's do this, Peter. Montague won't know what hit him. Be careful out there. This is just the beginning of a much bigger battle. All right, team, we've got a situation. Grand Glacier Hotel, robbery in progress. Dude, can it wait? I'm about to beat my high score on Ninja Slice. Mikey, the only thing you're beating is that pizza into submission. The security system at Grand Glacier is top notch. This isn't just your average heist. Raf, Mikey, you're on recon. Scope out the scene, but keep it stealthy. We can't risk being spotted. Stealthy is my middle name. Well, actually, it's Fernando, but stealthy sounds cooler. Just promise me there'll be some action. I'm itching for a good tussle. Use these. I've upgraded them with the latest cloaking tech. You'll be practically invisible. And remember, this mission is recon only. Gather intel and report back. No engagement unless absolutely necessary. Aye, aye, Captain Sirius. Operation Sneaky Shell is a go. You think they'll stick to the plan, Leo? With those two, you never know. But we have to trust them. The safety of the city is in our hands. Let's keep an eye on things from here. We need to be ready for whatever comes next. Thanks for meeting us, Miles Gwen. We're looking for information on a new player in town. Calls himself Wildcat. Wildcat, huh? Heard some rumors about attacks around the city, but no one's seen this guy. Attacks were brutal, calculated. Doesn't seem like your regular thug. We managed to get a partial print. Maybe you can help us enhance it, Miles. I'll see what I can do. But this guy, he's careful. Doesn't leave much behind. We need to stop him before he strikes again. Any help you can provide. You got it. We'll spread the word, see what comes up. Everyone out. This hotel is mine now. Say hello to Wildcat's new base. Give it up, Wildcat. You are outnumbered, and we have backup on the way. We can't hold him off too much longer. He's too strong. Noir, be careful. Don't get too close. You'll pay for this, Wildcat. This is all too easy with you detectives. you pathetic loser. Looks like we're late to the party, Mikey. Never too late to crash a wildcat bash. Who's that? I love it when they make it challenging. You call this challenging? I call it Tuesday. But I can't lose this one Won't you just die already? What's wrong, pussycat? Forgot how to aim? He's getting away! Cowabunga! We've got to track him down, Mikey. He's dangerous. Well, that went from zero to wild faster than you can say pepperoni pizza. The situation at Grand Glacier Hotel was a mess. Wild cat? He's like no one we've faced before. We've scanned the databases, cross-referenced criminal records, nothing! He's a ghost! Great. 
a ghost with a gun and a bad attitude. Just what we needed. Next time, I won't let him get away. We need more intel. Donatello and I will hit the streets, see what we can dig up. Be careful out there, Braz. This wildcat doesn't seem to play by the rules. And if you find him, let us know. I owe him a rematch. Don't worry, Raphael. You will get your revenge. This place is like a museum. Does he have a room just for his socks, too? Oscar, we need to talk. It's about your brother, Wildcat. Whoa! Easy there! Wildcat, my brother. He's not just a common thug. He's a white tiger with piercing blue eyes, cunning and ruthless. We faced him at the hotel. He's skilled, elusive. He's more than dangerous. He's a monster in disguise. I've tried to stop him for years. I'll gather some contacts, see what I can find. But be careful, he won't go down easily. We're not exactly easy targets either. Especially when there's pizza on the line. Focus, Mikey. This is serious. Use this. I'll contact you with any information I get. We need all the help we can get to bring him down. This place... It's under new management now. Please, no! I didn't do anything! You're part of the old world, and the old world is gone. You... You have the look of survival in your eyes. Please, I'll do anything. Good, because I'm forming a new order. The Shadow Gang, and you, my frightened friend, are going to help me. Yes, yes! Anything! Welcome to the New World Order. Hey, Jonesy! We need some intel on a guy named Wildcat. Ring any bells? Wildcat, huh? He's bad news. Just got word about him and his gang. They're holed up in an old warehouse out in the Snowy region. Snowy Warehouse, got it. What kind of resistance are we talking about? He's heavily armed, and so is his gang. They've turned the place into a fortress. You'll need to be extra careful. <laughs> careful is our middle name. Well, not really, but we can do careful. This is the location, but remember this isn't a game. Wildcat is dangerous. Thanks, Jonesy. We'll take it from here. Time to pay this Wildcat a visit. Keep your eyes peeled. Wildcat could be anywhere. This place gives me the creeps. It's too quiet. Sniper, get down. That was way too close. We can't see them, but they've definitely seen us. Great, a sniper. Just what we needed on our pizza-free night. We need a distraction to make a break for it. I've got snowman disguises. On my mark, we run for the exit. Now! We need to regroup and figure out who this sniper is. is mine. I will bring terror to every corner. Archie's over, Montague. Yeah, time to put this bad guy back in his box. You can't stop me, Turtles. 
for a villain, you sure are slow. Ever heard of a gym? Looks like you're out of your league, Montague. Yeah, why don't you pick on someone your own speed? Like a snail. Next time, think twice before messing with our island. And stay out of the sewers. That's our turf. Let's head back. We've got more training to do. Another day, another baddie beaten by the awesome duo. <laughs> guys, guys, you won't believe what just went down. We totally crashed Montague's party at the train station. Hey, Leo! What are you staring at? Uh, nothing. Just planning our next mission. At this hour, you're usually the first to hit the sack. Yeah. What's got you so hooked on the screen? New video game? No, no. Just routine stuff. Anyway, what are you guys up to? We were thinking pizza time. And maybe plan a party. You know, meet some new girls, expand our social circle. Yeah, it could be fun, a change from our usual routine. Actually, I was thinking we should clean up the lair tonight. You know, get things organized. Clean? On a night like this? Come on, Leo. Even you need a break. Yeah, loosen up a bit, bro. Let's have some fun. Maybe another time. Keeping the lair in order is important. We can't lose focus. Thanks for meeting me, Jonesy. I needed someone to talk to. Anytime, Leo. What's on your mind? It's about April. I've been feeling something for her. More than just friendship. It's okay to have feelings, Leo. Have you thought about telling her? I don't know. I'm supposed to be the leader, the focused one. Plus, I'm not sure how the guys would take it. Your brothers respect you, Leo. They'll understand. And as for April, the only way you'll know is if you tell her. But what if it changes everything? What if it affects the team? Love has a way of doing that, but it's not always a bad thing. It's part of life, Leo. Maybe you're right. I just don't want to make things complicated. The best things in life are a little complicated. Don't let fear hold you back. Thanks, Jonesy. I think I needed to hear that. Go for it, Leo. Guys, have you noticed Leo's been acting weird lately? Like, more broody than usual? Yeah. He's been sneaking around, and that talk about cleaning the lair. Since when does Leo dodge pizza time? It's not like him to be so secretive. I'm worried he might be hiding something serious. You don't think he's planning to leave the team, do you? Or worse, betray us? Leo would never. But something's up. We need to find out what. Agreed. Maybe we should keep an eye on him, you know, just to be sure. Spy mission on Leo? Count me in. I'll bring the popcorn. Mikey, this is serious. We need to be stealthy, like real ninjas. I'll set up some surveillance. If Leo's in trouble or planning something, we'll know. Peely, I need some help with April. I don't know how to tell her how I feel. Say no more, Leo. Love advice is my specialty. First tip, serenade her with a banana-themed song. A banana-themed song? Really? Absolutely. Nothing says romance like singing about bananas. It's a surefire hit. Uh, what else you got? Oh, write her a love letter. But make sure it's in banana language. Girls love mystery. Banana language? I'm not sure that's going to work. No, wait. I've got it. Challenge her to a dance-off. Show off your best banana moves. Peely, your advice is something else. 
but I don't think that's quite what I need. Really? 60% of the time? It works every time. Well, almost every time. Thanks. I appreciate the effort. You definitely lightened my mood. Anytime, Leo. If you change your mind about the banana song, just let me know. Hey, Leo, what brings you here? Hi, April. I, uh, wanted to talk about something. It's, um, important. Sure, what's up? Is everything okay? So, the thing is, um, we've been friends for a while. And, uh, you know, friends do stuff. Stuff? Are you okay, Leo? You're acting a little strange. Yeah, I'm fine. It's just, I was wondering if... Um, maybe you'd like to hang out, like, more than usual. Hang out? Sure we can do that. But are you sure that's all you wanted to say? Yeah, yeah, just hanging out, you know, as friends. All right, Leo, let's hang out then. We can grab a coffee or something. Yeah, coffee sounds great. Leo, what's going on with you? You've been sneaking off, acting all secretive. Yeah, and you keep shutting down our party plans. We just want to meet some girls, man. Leo, if something's bothering you, you can talk to us. We're your brothers. I don't have to explain everything to you guys. I have my reasons. What's that supposed to mean? We're supposed to be a team. You're our leader, Leo. You can't just go rogue on us. Maybe I need some space, okay? Maybe I can't always be the perfect leader. Stop it! This isn't us! Leonardo, the great leader of the Ninja Turtles. To what do I owe this unexpected pleasure? I'm not here for pleasantries, Montague. I heard you might have information. Information, or perhaps guidance. I understand your brothers are stifling you. They don't understand what I'm going through. It's complicated. Your talent is being wasted, Leonardo. You're destined for greater things, not held back by lesser minds. You're in love with April, aren't you? I can see it. Your brothers, they'll never let you pursue it. But I can help you. Help me? How? Why would you do that? Let's just say I have my reasons. In exchange, I could use someone with your skills. Work for you? I don't know. Think about it, Leonardo. Freedom to pursue your heart's desires. April could be yours, with a little help from me. Consider my offer. A leader like you shouldn't be held back by loyalty to those who don't understand. I can't keep this inside anymore. I have to tell April how I feel even if it changes everything. Leo, is everything okay? You seem troubled. April, there's something I've been meaning to tell you. It's about how I feel about you. You're one of my best friends. What is it? I care about you, April, more than just a friend. But I understand if you don't feel the same way. Leo, you're amazing, and I care about you too. But I think we're better as friends. I hope you understand. I do, April, and I respect your feelings. I just needed to be honest with you. I'm glad you told me. And no matter what, you'll always be my dear friend. Thank you, April. That means a lot to me. You did the right thing, Leo. It takes courage to express your feelings. Yeah, it's tough, but I feel like a weight has been lifted. We're here for you, brother. Always. Guys, we need to talk. 
I overheard Leo with April tonight. He's been struggling with his feelings for April, and he needed our support, not our suspicion. Man, we really messed up, didn't we? Leo, I'm sorry we doubted you. Yeah, bro, we should have been there for you, not spying on you. It's okay. I should have been open with you guys. It's been tough. But that's what brothers are for, to help each other through the tough times. I say it's time for a pizza party. The best way to heal a heartache and bond is brothers. And dancing! We can show off our moves and just let loose. You guys are the best. A pizza party sounds perfect. What the shell, Raph? What did you do? Uh, I was just checking out this thingamajig, and it sort of exploded. That thingamajig was my latest invention. Do you have any idea how long it took to build? Hey, easy with the brain bashing, Einstein. Whoa, Donnie's gone ninja on Raph. This I gotta see. This isn't funny, Mikey. Raphael just fried weeks of work. Oh, lighten up, Donnie. It's not like your gizmo was gonna save the world. Right, because who needs brains when you got brawn, huh? Ooh, burn! Raph, you gonna take that? At least I don't spend my days talking to machines. How's your love life with that computer, Donnie? Better than yours with the punching bag. At least my conversations are intelligent. Keep it going, guys. This is better than reality TV. Oscar, I've been thinking, maybe I don't belong with the turtles. My interests, my skills, they're different. What? Donnie, you can't be serious. The team needs you. But do I need the team? I feel like I'm on a different wavelength. Like I'm too smart for my own good. Donnie, every team needs a brain and you're the best there is. The turtles wouldn't be the same without you. Maybe. But sometimes I wonder if I could do more on my own. Start a team where intellect is the main strength. But remember, your brothers love you for who you are, brain and all. I appreciate that, Oscar. I really do. I just need to figure out where I fit in this world. Guys, I have something important to say. After this mission, I'm leaving the team. Leaving? Donnie, why? Is this about the argument in the workshop? Come on, Donnie. We were just messing around. I won't break your stuff again, I promise. Yeah, dude. And I'll lay off the jokes. You can't leave us. It's not just about the workshop. I feel out of place. Like I need to find where I truly belong. But we're a team, a family. We need you, Donnie. You're a vital part of us. I know and I appreciate everything we've been through, but this is something I need to do for myself. So, what? You're just gonna start your own team of... Maybe not turtles, Raph, but I need an environment where my ideas can grow. We're going to miss you, bro. Like a lot. I'll miss you guys too, but it's time for me to explore new horizons. Take care of them, Leo. You're a great leader. Okay, Donnie, think. What would McGregor do? Time for a little improvised explosive device, courtesy of yours truly. Wow, Donnie, that was brilliant. Guys, you should have seen Donnie just now. He took out the bad guy with one of his crazy inventions. Seriously? That egghead brother of ours did something cool? Donnie's always been a genius, dude. I bet he looked like a superhero doing it. He did. He's out there on his own, but he's handling it like a champ. Stay safe out there, Donnie. You're more than just smart. You're a hero. Who says you need a lab to be a genius? Dude, this car is awesome! 
How did you even? Just a little something I whipped up. Wait till you see what else it can do. Donnie, what's happening? Oh no, Mikey. I... I can't. What have I done? I thought I was making things better. I thought I was smart enough to handle it. Maybe being a genius isn't enough. Maybe there's more to being a Ninja Turtle. More to being me. I've always defined myself by my intelligence, my inventions. But what if that's not all I am? What if I'm more than just the brain of the team? I can't run from my mistakes. I have to face them, learn from them. I need to find a way to make this right. This isn't the end of my story. I have to go back, face my brothers, face myself. It's time to be more than just the smart one. Hey, uh, Gwen, April, fancy meeting you here. Beautiful day, isn't it? Hi, Donatello. It is a lovely day indeed. What brings you out here? Well, I was just, you know, strolling around thinking about uh, quantum physics and um, you. Quantum physics, huh? That's quite the pickup line. Oh, Shell, I mean, I didn't. I'm not usually this nervous. It's OK. You're unique. I should probably go. Sorry for the awkwardness and the uh, weirdness. Wait, Donatello, how about we grab a coffee sometime? I'd like to hear more about your quantum physics. Really, you mean it? Yes, really, I'll text you the details. Maybe I'm not so bad at this after all. Peter, what are you doing here? Oh, hey, Donnie, just hanging out. Your bros said it was cool if I crashed here for a bit. Love the decor, very sewer chic. I'm not sure you should be here right now. Things are a bit complicated. Oh, I heard about the whole car kaboom thing. Tough break, kiddo. I never wanted anyone to get hurt, especially not Mikey. You know, Donnie, we all make mistakes. Heck, I've made so many, they made a TV show about them. I guess everyone has their share of blunders. That's the spirit. Just remember, it's not about the mess up, it's about what you do next. Like that one time I... Maybe you're right, Peter. It's time I fixed what I broke. Go get him, turtle dude. And uh, if you see a talking dog around, tell him Peter says hi. Thanks, Peter. You're strange but helpful. Guys, I need to say something. I've been, well, I've been a real jerk. We're listening, Donnie. I let my pride and my ego get the better of me. I thought I was too smart, too different, but I was wrong. It's okay, Donnie. We all make mistakes, dude. Yeah, even me, and I'm like the king of mistakes. I want to make things right. I vow to be the best Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle and the best brother I can be. I belong here with you all. That's all we ever wanted. You're an essential part of this team, of this family. Group hug. And after that, how about we celebrate Donnie's return with a mega pizza feast? Only if it includes extra anchovies. You got it, guys. And Mikey, I'm, I'm really sorry. Forget about it, bro. You're back. And that's all that matters. I'm on his tail, guys. This cat's fast, but he's no match for a ninja on wheels. Keep him in your sights. Got a clear shot here. Just make sure you hit the tires. I want to see this kitty spin. Steady, steady. This one's for the pizza fund.
bullseye, Mikey. Watch him wobble. Hey, Wildcat. Ever thought about trading this gas guzzler for a nice, eco-friendly bike? Yeah. Think of the carbon footprint, buddy. Wait, where is he gone? You can't stop me, you shell brain buffoons. Retreat? This cat's gone wild. He's armed and dangerous. We need a new plan. Run, turtles, run. You can't hide from me. Freaking awesome! Oh uh, yeah, that's us. Just here to fill up. Can I get a selfie? Wait till the guys at the Drunken Clam see this. Look, buddy, we're kind of in the middle of something here. So, can I join your team? I make a mean pepperoni pizza. Thanks, but we're not recruiting. Especially not pizza chefs. Come on, guys. I can be like your mascot or something. I've got my own costume and everything. Seriously, man, we're good. Just keep the selfies. Thanks for the support, dude. Gotta run now, ninja business and all. No problem. You guys are awesome. Go kick some shell. Well, at least someone's day got better because of us. Let's hope Leo never finds out about our new fan club president. make this quick. Leo's not gonna like hearing about this mess. Oh man, this has got to be their secret hideout. I've hit the jackpot. Just act natural, Peter. You're a shadow, a whisper in the wind. Moly, I found it! The Ninja Turtle's secret lair! This is bigger than that time I met Adam West. I've got to tell someone about this. Wait, no. I've got to keep it a secret. But I'm so bad at keeping secrets. All right, Peter. Play it cool. Maybe they'll let you in on the action if you keep their secret. Time to be a hero. What was that? Everyone, stay sharp. What the? Peter, what are you doing here? Uh, hi guys. Surprise. How did you find this place? Do you realize what you've done? I just wanted to be part of the team. I can be like, the guy in the chair, you know? The guy in the chair? You've compromised our entire operation. This is serious. Look, if you let me help out around here, I promise I won't tell anyone about your secret base. Cross my heart. He might actually be useful, Leo, and we can't risk him blabbing about our base. Fine. You can stay, Peter, but no missions. You help around the base. That's it. You won't regret this. I'll be the best base guy you've ever had. Sorry guys, just trying to help with the tech stuff here. What have you done? That computer controlled our security systems. Oh man, I'm so sorry. Let me clean that up. Did you just blow up part of our lab? Peter, this isn't working out. You're causing more harm than help. I guess I'm not cut out for this ninja business, huh? Maybe you're just better suited for other things. It's best if you leave, Peter. 
We appreciate the effort, but we can't risk any more accidents. I'll stick to my day job at the gas station. Thanks for the chance, guys. They think they can just toss me out like yesterday's trash? I'll show them. Hey, Wildcat. How would you like to know where the Ninja Turtles hide out? Well, if it isn't Peter. And what makes you turn against your turtle friends? They kicked me out, said I was more trouble than I'm worth. But I know where they plan and sleep. I can get you in. You've got my attention, Peter. Lead the way, and perhaps we can work out a little... arrangement. This'll teach them not to mess with Peter. They'll regret the day they crossed me. Perfect timing, Peter. Let's see how these turtles like their home scrambled. Yeah, they'll never see this coming. Say goodbye to your little shell shack turtles. This is what you get for crossing Wildcat. Done! This! This isn't what heroes do! You know, Raph, I always thought our missions could use more... pizzazz. Yeah, getting shot at really spices things up, Mikey. Did you see that? She's like, ninja meets superhero. Yeah, and she's cute too. We've got a follower. Maybe she'll give me a kiss for saving us. In your dreams, bro. If anyone's getting a kiss, it's gonna be me. Race you there. First one to get a kiss wins. You're on, little brother. What do we have here? Two handsome turtles lost in tech land? Nisha, we uh, didn't see you there. Yeah, just working on this very important tech thing. You guys always this focused, or am I just that distracting? Well, it's not every day we're graced with such company. Yeah, Leo here gets especially tongue-tied around beautiful women. So, which one of you is going to ask me out first? I think I should have the honors, as the leader in all. Not so fast. I've got my own charm, you know. You two are adorable. How about I make it easy? I'll decide after the next mission. Impress me, boys. April. You know, you light up the whole station. You're such a charmer, but I like it. Michelangelo, I knew I'd find you here. How about you ditch this news chick and hang with me? Excuse me? News chick? I'm his date. Uh, Skull Scout? This isn't really a good time? Come on, we'd have so much fun together. I even brought my nunchucks. Listen, Skull Scout. I don't know what your deal is, but he's with me, so back off. Whoa, ladies, let's not turn this into a ninja battle. April, you were amazing. Thank you for standing up for us. Nobody messes with my date, especially not some ninja wannabe. Fine, but this isn't over. Welcome to the best Christmas bash in town. Who's ready for some mistletoe magic? This is lively. Right, Raph? A little too lively for my taste. Where's the pizza? Time for some festive fun. Hey, what's the big idea? 
Oh, come on. Not the mistletoe thing. Gotcha. Now you've been officially holiday kissed. Well, I guess it's not so bad being caught. All right, all right, you got us. But next time, we're bringing the mistletoe. All right, Donnie, just blend in and gather the intel. Hey there, tall, dark, and mysterious. Haven't seen you around here before. Uh, yeah, I'm just new in town, enjoying the vibe. Well, you definitely stand out. How about I show you the real highlights of this place? Sure, that'd be great. So, mysterious guy, got any moves? Or are you all about the tech and gadgets? Oh, I've got a few moves, but I'm better with gadgets. You know, I don't usually go for the undercover type, but there's something about you. Maybe it's time I showed you some of my special tech. Wonder Woman, I'm flattered, but I think you might have the wrong idea. Oh, come on. A little chase just adds to the fun. This party's over, Turtle. Not cool, Midas. Not cool. You shouldn't have done that. He was my catch. Well, let's see what you've got. You can't just push people around, Midas. Michelangelo, Donatello, you're both just so amazing. Well, it's a tough choice, I know. I mean, look at me. Don't forget about me. I've got brains and brawn. How does a girl choose? I can't decide. I guess I'll have to catch you both. You know what? I'm actually getting kind of tired of all this running. Yeah, same here. Let's just let her catch us. Caught you both. I guess I win. You sure do. But just so you know, we let you win. Yeah, we're just that generous. Why can't I shake her off? She's like a persistent snowstorm. I need a hand. Wow, that was amazing. Well, now that we're alone. Hey, I didn't see this coming. Consider it a thank you for being so brave, Raphael. Well, in that case, I might need rescuing more often. Leo, Mikey, wait up, it's playtime. What did we get ourselves into? I don't know, Leo, but I'm not complaining. Come on, let's see if you can keep up with my holiday spirit. I've got some cool tricks up my sleeve, too. All right, Boxy, show me what you've got. And I'm all ears. Ah, April. You're like a pizza with all my favorite toppings. Just perfect. That should be me daydreaming about April. Mikey, this isn't the time for daydreaming. We need to focus on the mission plan. Chill, Leo. Even a ninja needs a break for love. I'm thinking of asking April out. Ask April out? Good luck with that. She probably wants someone a bit more mature. Hey, ladies love a fun guy, and I'm as fun as they come. Plus, who can resist this charm? Focus, Mikey. We can't afford distractions right now. Relax, Leo. A little love never hurt anyone. Besides, April's totally into fun guys. April, I've got to tell you something. I think you're totally radical and uh, I'd love to take you on a date. I, I like you too. I'd love to go on a date with you. I brought the best pizza in town. Hope you like extra cheese and pepperoni. 
It's perfect, Michelangelo. You really know the way to a girl's heart. Just a bit of ninja charm for our special date. You're full of surprises, Michelangelo. I'm having a great time. I never knew a night with a ninja turtle could be so magical. April, you make the sewer shine brighter than any star. I think I'm falling for you, Michelangelo. And I'm totally head over shells for you, April. I've always wanted my very own Lambo, and now I won't have to pay for it. No way! Did that guy just jack my Lambo? Dude, Spidey! Did you just see that? Some dude in a sneaky getup just swiped your ride! Tell me about it! That car was my baby! It had all the bells and whistles! Bells and whistles, huh? Sounds like it could ring a bell or two. <laughs> Not the time for jokes. That car means a lot to me. This just got personal. We gotta tell Leo and the guys. Absolutely. But uh, let's keep it quiet about the whole Lambo stolen thing. I'll never hear the end of it from Iron Man. Your secret's safe with me. Let's roll out and catch that sneaky car thief. You won't believe what I just saw. Some sneaky dude just snatched Spidey's Lambo right off the street. A Lambo, huh? This sounds like more trouble than a pizza without cheese. What's the plan? Okay, check it out. We go ninja style into Montague's hideout and swipe it back. Just you and me, bro. No Leo, no Donnie. I like the sound of that. A little brotherly bonding while kicking some bad guy butt. Count me in. Awesome, but we gotta be stealthy like shadows in the night, and fast like, well, like a Lamborghini. Stealth is my middle name. Montague won't know what hit him. Here's the hideout. We'll need to be quick and quiet. And maybe grab a pizza on the way? You and your pizza. All right, let's gear up and get that Lambo back. Turtle style. A little shell shock action. Let's make this quick. What was that? I think someone's here. What's going on here? Who are you guys? Just a couple of pizza loving tourists. Mind showing us the way to the Lambo? Intruders in the base. I repeat, intruders. Sorry, no time for chit chat. Coast is clear. Now, where's that shiny ride? There it is, the Lambo, just as shiny as in the comics. Nice wheels, but first, let's get out of here. My Lambo, you guys are amazing. How can I ever thank you? Well, a pizza party would be epic, but we're just doing our ninja duty. Yeah, saving fancy cars is all in a night's work for us. You guys deserve more than just thanks. Here, take this. Dude, are you serious? Our own Lambo? Absolutely, you've earned it, heroes. This is beyond awesome. Wait till Leo and Donnie see this. This is going to make our pizza run so much cooler. Just make sure to drive safely, okay? No ninja stunts on the streets. No promises. Thanks again.
and then we were like, Ninja Vanish, and swooped in to save the day. Man, this Lambo is sick. How did you even get it? Let's just say, being a ninja has its perks. Is this your ride? It's amazing. Wanna take a spin? I can show you some real drift moves. Since when did Mikey become Mr. Popular? First a ninja, now a race car driver. Guess it's true what they say, chicks dig the car. Call me. Will do. See you around. Look at Mikey, living the high life. Who knew a Lamborghini would make such a difference? Hey, why should he have all the fun? Let's borrow Oscar's Lambo for a spin. Borrow? Are we sure that's a good idea? All right, but we return it before anyone notices. Agreed? see what this baby can do. Hey, stop! That's Oscar's car! We're gonna be in so much trouble for this. Just drive. We'll figure it out later. You sure you want to do this? I mean, I practically live in this Lambo now. It's not just about speed. It's about skill. Let's see what you've got. This is what I'm talking about. Pure adrenaline. Watch out, go on the track. Oh my gosh, I didn't see the race. I'm so sorry. Quick guys, check to see if he is okay. Michelangelo, can you hear me? Come on, come on, we've got to get him out. This is all our fault. We pushed him into this stupid race. Michelangelo, you were the light of our team. Always bringing laughter, even in the darkest times. You were more than just a brother. You were my best friend. I wish I had told you that more. Your brilliance on the battlefield was only outshone by your kindness. The world is darker without your smile. Did you guys see that? Who's that? Could it be? It can't be. Can it? Michelangelo. Eat my dust! This Lambo's got moves you can only dream of in your red tin can. Dream on. This Ferrari's got style and speed. Something your flashy Lamborghini can't even touch. like a lightning bolt on wheels. Yours is just, well, a Ferrari. It's not just a Ferrari, it's the Ferrari. Pure class, Mikey. Something you and your Lambo wouldn't know about. Looks like I got here first. Lamborghini wins. In your dreams, little brother. It was a tie and you know it. Plus, my ride has got more elegance in its exhaust than your Lambo has in its entire body. Whatever you say. But we all know deep down, speed and style, Lamborghini's got it all. Keep telling yourself that. Next time we race on a real track, then we'll see who's the king of speed. What's all this commotion about, and why are there two supercars here? Leo, you're looking at the fastest car in town. 
Well, technically, the Ferrari has a better torque to weight ratio, making it potentially faster in certain conditions. See, Donnie gets it. My Ferrari is not just about speed, it's about making a statement. Oh, come on. The Lambo is like a magnet for attention, especially from the ladies. Is that what this is about? Attracting attention? We're supposed to be ninjas, remember? How about we settle this once and for all? A challenge to see which car gets more attention, especially from girls. You're on! Team Lamborghini and Team Ferrari. Let's see who can score more dates and kisses. I'm not sure this aligns with our ninja principles, but I can't deny the scientific value of such an experiment. Fine, I'll team up with Raph. But let's keep it low-key. We don't need unnecessary attention. Check out the crowd. Looks like the Lambo's already working its magic. Well, it's certainly drawing attention. Let's see if our ninja charm can match the car's appeal. Hey, ladies. Ever seen a ninja in a Lamborghini before? Definitely a first for me. Are you guys like movie stars or something? Something like that. We're just enjoying the Sunset Boulevard in our not so subtle ride. Can I take a selfie with the car? It's so cool. Of course. And how about one with its charming drivers too? You guys are so fun. Call us if you're ever in town again. You can count on that. this. Time to show them what a real ninja can do. Just don't scare them off. Let the Ferrari do some of the work too. You know, this Ferrari isn't just a pretty face. It's got moves just like us. Is that so? Well, your car is gorgeous, but I must say, your friend's flips are quite impressive. Thanks. It's all in a day's work for a ninja. But the Ferrari here is part of our team too. A ninja and a Ferrari, huh? Quite the combo. I think that deserves a reward. Well, I guess that's one point for Team Ferrari. Looks like the Ferrari's charm is rubbing off on us. Donnie, watch and learn. Time to mix some ninja charm with Lamborghini glam. Just don't embarrass us. Oh my gosh, are you guys like ninja models or something? Ninja models? I like the sound of that. Michelangelo's the name, bringing laughter is my game. Is this your car? It's amazing, and those gadgets inside, are they custom made? You bet. I love tinkering with tech. Built half of what you see in this beauty. For making our day fun. Well, that's a souvenir I didn't expect. Looks like the Lambo's doing its magic. Time to add a little spice to their evening. Sorry, bros, but I can't let Raphael win this one. A big explosion show should do the trick. Let's see how Raph likes this. What the shell is happening out there? Something's wrong. We need to check it out. This has Mikey written all over it. Calm down, Raph. We don't know that for sure. Let's not jump to conclusions. If Mikey thinks he can get away with this, he's got another thing coming. Let's not make a scene here. We'll deal with Mikey back at the lair. Better luck next time, bros! And then, you should have seen their faces when the car blew up. It was epic! 
I can't believe you actually did that, Mikey. It's kind of risky, you know? Risky, but totally worth it. We won, didn't we? So it was you who sabotaged Raphael's Ferrari. Yeah, Mikey. That was a low blow, even for you. Hey, all's fair in love and street racing, right? Actually, Mikey, that's not really how we do things. This isn't just about the car, Mikey. It's about honesty and integrity. You crossed a line. You could have hurt someone with that stunt. What were you thinking? I just... I got caught up in the competition, I guess. Competition is fine, Mikey, but not at the cost of our values. We're a team, Michelangelo. We rely on each other. This kind of behavior puts all of us at risk. I'm sorry, guys. I didn't mean to cause trouble. I just wanted to win. Winning isn't everything, Mikey. Sometimes how you play the game is what really counts. Enough, guys. We're supposed to be a team. Stop it! This isn't solving anything! We can't keep going like this. Michelangelo, you know what you did was wrong. Fine. I get it. I cheated, okay? I'll give the Lambo to Raph. I don't even want it. I just want you to understand that what you did was dangerous. Here. Take it. I'm sorry, alright? We're your brothers. We just want what's best for you. We're a team, remember? We look out for each other. Hey, you think you can just jack cars on my watch? Well, well, if it isn't one of those turtle freaks gonna stop me, huh? You're gonna pay for this, you little... Shut it, Shellhead. You're not so tough now, are you? What's up, dudes? Miss me? Mikey, this was my collar. Looks like your collar had you collared, bro. I should have picked a quieter street, not one with ninja freaks. I could have handled it, Mikey. I don't need you saving me. Sure, next time I'll just grab popcorn and watch. No more of your showboating, got it? you say, big bro? But you gotta admit, that was a pretty awesome save. Aren't you the one who stopped that robber downtown? That was so brave! Guilty as charged. Saving the day is kind of my thing. So modest, too. You're not just a hero, you're funny. Hey, I was there too, you know. Can we get a selfie with you? My friends won't believe this. Sure thing. Who could say no to a selfie with lovely ladies like you? Great. Michelangelo, the hero and comedian. What am I, invisible? Oh, you were there too? That's nice. Yeah, nice. I'm the nice one. Hey, Raph, why so quiet? Don't be shy. Join the fun. No, you go ahead. Enjoy your fan club. Why does Mikey get all the glory? Just because he's the funny one? I'm just as good a fighter, if not better. Why can't they see that? It's always Michelangelo this and Michelangelo that. What about me? What about Raphael? I need to prove I'm more than just the angry brother. I'm a hero too. Oh, look at Mr. Hero here, saving the day while tripping over his own feet. Raph, come on, man. What's this about? We're on the same team, remember? Team? You mean the Michelangelo show? That's all anyone ever cares about. That's not fair, Raph. I don't choose the spotlight. 
It just happens. Yeah, right. It just happens. Like you just happened to show me up in front of everyone. I don't know what you want me to say, Raph. I'm just doing my best, same as you. Your best? Ha. Let's see how you do without your little fan club cheering you on. Raph, let's just talk about this back at the lair, okay? No, I'm done talking. You can have your spotlight, Mikey. I don't need it. Raph, why can't you just talk to me? What's gotten into you? You think you're better than me, don't you? Always showing off, stealing the limelight. I'm not trying to outshine you, Raph. We're brothers. See how you like being in the spotlight now. Guess heroes need saving too, huh? Raphael, what have you done? Mikey's in trouble! We need to get him out! Michelangelo, are you okay? What were you two thinking? I... I don't know. Raph just lost it. This has gone too far, Raph. You could have seriously hurt him! I... I didn't mean to... What have I done? I let my anger control me. Mikey. He was just being himself and I... I pushed him away. I was so caught up in my own jealousy, I couldn't see how much I was hurting him. And myself. I can't let this go on. I need to make things right with Mikey. He's my brother, and I've been a fool. It's time to face my mistakes and be the brother Mikey deserves. Can we talk? I've been a real jerk. Yeah, you have been. What's up? I'm sorry. I let my jealousy get the better of me. You didn't deserve that. Just like that? You think a sorry will fix everything? No, I don't. But I want to start making things right. You're my brother, and I... I miss hanging out with you. Guys, we're a team. We have our ups and downs, but we stick together. That's right. We're stronger when we understand and forgive each other. I guess everyone deserves a second chance, even hotheads like you. Thanks. I promise. No more letting my temper call the shots. Just don't push me off any more cliffs, okay? Deal. No more cliffs. Man, I never get tired of driving this baby. Gotta admit, you've got style. And that move you pulled off the other day? Pretty slick. Speaking of which, look up ahead. So, anyone up for pizza? I mean, nothing a little mozzarella can't fix, right? Mikey, this isn't the time. We need to talk about what happened. We can't just pretend everything's normal. Yeah, and let's not forget who brought this mess to our doorstep. The facts are clear. April, your actions have put us all in danger. Hey, lay off! April didn't mean any harm. We all make mistakes, right? I'm so sorry. Sorry, I never wanted to cause trouble. We need to figure out how to move forward. This tension isn't helping anyone. Yeah, well, trust isn't something you can just win back with a joke or a slice of pizza. I know things look bad, guys. We can work through this. Mikey, you're so wrapped up in April, you've forgotten who you are. That's not true. I can care for April and still be a part of this team. 
But your actions say otherwise. You're always distracted. Always late. We're just worried about you, Michelangelo. You're not yourself these days. So, what? You think I can't balance my personal life and my duties? I've always been there for you guys. You used to be there, but now you're just gone. Lost in your little world with April. Michelangelo, maybe we should... No. I won't let them make me choose between my family and you. It's not about choosing. It's about finding a balance. If you can't see that I can love April and still be a Ninja Turtle, then maybe I don't belong here. Mikey. Come on, let's go. I can't stay where I'm not trusted. Do you think leaving was the right thing to do? I had to. They just don't understand. But your brothers, they're your family. Can't you see they're just worried about you? They don't get it. They think I can't handle being with you and being a turtle. Maybe they have a point. You've been different lately. Different? How? Because I'm in love? No, it's not just that. You've been distant even with me. It's like you're constantly torn. Torn? I love you. That's not going to change. But love isn't just about saying it. It's about choices, about balancing your life. Can you honestly say you've been doing that? I'm trying. I really am. I don't know what I want. I just know something needs to change. Are you saying you want a break? April, stay here. I've got to check something out. Raphael, what are you doing here? Spying on us? I'm just... I'm just making sure you're okay. I don't need a babysitter, especially not for my own brother. You left the team. You left us. We're worried about you. So, you spy on me? That's not concern, that's mistrust. You've changed. Ever since April, it's like we don't even know you anymore. I haven't changed, I've just, I've just found someone who understands me. Michelangelo, what's going on? Nothing, just a family misunderstanding. Family? Is that what we are to you now? Just a misunderstanding? That's not what I meant, you know that. Do I? Because right now I don't know anything about you. Let's settle this with a street fight then! Michelangelo, what on earth was that? Stay in the car. I got this. Thought you could hide from me, turtle. You picked the wrong day to mess with me, Silas. Be careful, Michelangelo. Don't worry about me. Are you okay? I am now. That was incredible. Let's get out of here before he comes back. Gwen, we need your help. Silas Hesk is after us. Michelangelo, we're dealing with our own crisis right now. We wish we could help, but our hands are full with a major threat in the city. But we don't know where else to turn. Isn't there anything you can do? I'm sorry, you're a great fighter. Trust in your skills. You've got each other. That's more than most can say. We'll figure this out, Michelangelo. We have no choice. Thanks anyway, guys. April, are we really doing this? Leaving everything behind? 
We have to, Mikey. It's the only way we can be safe and together. I know. It's just, I never imagined leaving the city, the guys. I know it's hard, but we need a fresh start, away from all this chaos. A life by the sea, just you and me. It sounds like a dream. It will be our dream, Mikey. A peaceful life, far from danger. Okay, let's do it, for us. For our future. April, check me out. I'm like a sea turtle in its natural habitat. Be careful, Mikey. Don't go too far. April, help. I can't. I'm stuck. Mikey, hold on. I'm coming. I've got you, Mikey. Don't give up. Come on, Mikey. Breathe. Please breathe. April. You did it. You saved me. I thought I lost you, Mikey. I couldn't bear the thought of it. I owe you everything, April. You're my hero. No matter what comes our way. Together. Always. You and me against the world. I promise from now on, we face every challenge side by side. That's a promise I'm holding you to. April, this place could be a ninja training paradise. You sure your neighbors won't mind a turtle in the town? I think they'll survive. Besides, having a hero around might up the neighborhood's cool factor. Cool factor, huh? Wait until they see me doing flips into the pool. Just promise me you won't try any ninja stunts off the balcony, okay? No promises, April. You know, we could turn this living room into a dojo. And the kitchen. Ninja pizza parties. One step at a time. First, let's get you settled in. I've even cleared some space for your skateboard collection. Seriously, that's awesome. You're the best, April. But, uh, where will I keep my collection of rare comic books? Right here, your very own Turtle Cave complete with shelves for your comics and a special spot for your mask. Wow, April, this is incredible. I can't believe I'm gonna live in a place like this. I just want you to feel at home. You're a part of my life, and this mansion is as much yours as it is mine. Thanks, you know, with you. Any place feels like home, even a fancy mansion. Well, get ready for our first dinner in your new home. I'm thinking, Homemade pizza? Homemade pizza in a mansion with the most amazing girl? This is gonna be epic! Hey Donatello, I want you to meet someone. This is Hope, our new tech expert. Hi Donatello, I've heard a lot about you. Big fan of your work with gadgets and gizmos. Well thanks, I'm always excited to meet fellow tech enthusiasts. So you're into cool gadgets, huh? Absolutely. I've been working on some new mods that could change the game. Maybe you could give me some tips? I'd love to. Maybe we can collaborate on something. Ever thought about a high-tech bow staff? That sounds incredible. But only if we can equip it with an AI assistant. Maybe something with a sense of humor. Looks like I'm witnessing the birth of a super tech duo. You two are like bananas and peel. I guess we do make a great team already. Hey, Hope, how about we grab a banana smoothie and brainstorm some ideas? Sounds perfect. But only if Peely here promises not to eavesdrop on our top secret tech talk. My lips are sealed. We need to talk. I'm worried that your carefree lifestyle might clash with mine. Uh, April, come on, I'm adaptable. I can totally handle a little luxury. It's not just about luxury, it's our whole way of living. I have social commitments, charity events. Can you really fit into that world? Hey, I can be classy. I've watched, like, three documentaries on etiquette. This is serious, Michelangelo. It's not just about manners, it's about compatibility. Our worlds are so different. 
So what are you saying? That I'm not good enough for your fancy mansion and high society friends? No, that's not it. I just think we need to be realistic about what this means for us. I thought love was supposed to conquer all, April. Or is that just a line from one of your fancy books? Michelangelo, please. I'm just trying to figure things out. I don't want to lose you, but I'm scared. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to snap. I just... I don't want to lose you either. Maybe we can find a middle ground? I hope so. I really do. But it's going to take work from both of us. Hey, Donnie, I was thinking, how about we smooth things over with a double date? You and Hope, me and April. A double date? That could be fun, but are you sure? Things have been a bit rocky with you and April. Exactly. It's the perfect way to lighten the mood. Plus, you and Hope seem to hit it off. All right, I'm in. But let's keep it low-key, okay? No ninja acrobatics or sewer surfing. Deal. Just good old-fashioned fun. Maybe dinner and a movie? everyone ready for a fun night yeah totally this is gonna be great we can talk after okay this place is amazing you didn't tell me you had such cool hangout spots well we turtles know how to pick them let's try to have a good time tonight okay let's make the best of it he won't see this coming April, what are you doing? Donatello, I... I thought you were Michelangelo. This is all a big mistake. April, what's going on here? Mikey, it's not what it looks like. I thought Donnie was you. Michelangelo, she thought I was you. It was just an innocent mistake. Please believe me. I would never do anything to hurt you. I can't deal with this right now, April. What just happened? Why did April kiss you? It was a misunderstanding. April thought I was Michelangelo. Nothing more. Please, let me explain. It was a mistake. I thought Donatello was you. How could you mix us up? It's like I don't even matter to you. That's not true. You're everything to me. It was just a dark club and I got confused. I can't do this. I thought we had something special. We do. Please don't end things over a silly mistake. I need some space. I can't be with someone who makes me feel like this. How could you not tell me about the kiss right away? It makes me wonder what else you're hiding. I was just as shocked as you. I didn't know how to bring it up without making things worse. But you should have trusted me enough to tell me. Now, I don't know what to believe. Hope, please, you have to believe me. There's nothing going on between April and me. You're the one I care about. I need some time to think. This is all too much. How did everything get so messed up? April, what happened to us? I thought we were perfect together, but maybe I was just fooling myself. Maybe I never really fit into her world. We had some great times, April. Why did it have to end like this? Do I even belong here? Without April, everything feels so empty. Hope, I'm really sorry about what happened at the club. It was a total misunderstanding. I know, but it's not just about the kiss. It's about everything. The chaos that seems to follow you and your brothers. But that's part of who I am. I thought you understood that. I thought I did too. But seeing it all unfold, it's just too much for me. I get it. I guess being with a Ninja Turtle comes with its own set of challenges. You're a great guy, but I think I need some time to figure things out on my own. I should go. Take care, Donnie. 
Michelangelo and April, now me and Hope. Why does love have to be so complicated? You know, Peely, I wish I could be as cool as those Ninja Turtles. They're always having these wild adventures and saving the day. Well, maybe you should start by acting more like them. Confidence is key, you know? Confidence, huh? But I don't have a cool shell or martial arts skill. What about a suit? A nice tuxedo always adds a dash of class and confidence. A suit, eh? Like a sophisticated turtle? I like it. Behold, the new and improved. Time to show the world what I'm made of. Looking sharp. The Ninja Turtles won't know what hit them. Watch out, Fortnite. Here comes the new superhero on the block. Oh, no, no, no. This isn't like the video game. Hey, what's the big idea? You could have gotten someone hurt. Oh, man. I'm so sorry. I was just trying to be like those cool Ninja Turtles, you know, with the fast cars and the hero stuff. You don't become a hero by causing car crashes, buddy. Yeah, I guess I got a bit carried away. Sorry about your car. Just be more careful next time, okay? Being a hero isn't about showing off. Got it. No more reckless driving for me. Hey there, beautiful. You know, I'm kind of like a superhero too. They call me, uh, the amazing Peter Man. Is that so? And what exactly are your superpowers? Well, I have the incredible ability to eat a whole pizza in one sitting. And, uh, I'm really good at video games. That's quite unique. But I'm afraid I'm more interested in heroes who save the world, not just their appetite. Oh, right, of course. Saving the world, yeah, that's important too. Maybe focus on finding your true strengths. It's not all about flashy moves or smooth talk. Yeah, you're probably right. Thanks for the advice, and, I, and sorry for bothering you. Man, being cool and heroic is a lot harder than it looks in the movies. Okay, you can do this. Just like in the movies, be a hero. No, this is not what I planned. I was supposed to be cool, not a human disaster. What in the Fortnite is happening? My yacht, my Lambo. Sorry, Midas, really sorry. This hero thing is way harder than I thought. You'll pay for this, Griffin. You've ruined my yacht. Hey, dude. Rough day, huh? I saw the fireworks show. Impressive, in a way. Oh, man, you saw that? I was trying to be cool like you guys, but I guess I'm just a big old goof. Hey, we all have our moments. But you know what? I see something in you. You've got heart, and that's what counts. Really? You think so? Totally. How about I show you some ninja moves? Help you find your inner turtle, so to speak. That would be amazing. I'd love to learn from a real hero like you. Awesome. It's going to be fun. But just a heads up, we don't usually set yachts on fire. Deal. I promise no more yacht fires. I'm ready to learn, Master Michelangelo. OK, leadership is all about making the right call under pressure. You ready to try? As ready as I'll ever be. Uh, do I jump over this or go around? Remember, assess the situation quickly and make a decision. Trust your instincts. Guess my instincts need a little tuning, huh? It's all part of the process. Let's try a different approach. Think about your team and the best way to lead them.
Did I do it right this time? Much better. Leadership isn't just about being the first. It's about making sure everyone gets through together. Thanks. I think I'm starting to get it. All right, let's see what you've got. Show me your best move. Uh, my best move usually involves a couch and a TV remote, but okay. Come on. This is basic stuff. You got to be more agile like a ninja, not a stumbling buffalo. Hey, I've got more moves than a buffalo. Watch this. Nice try, but let's focus on not hitting the ground first. Get up, let's go again. All right. But if I pull a muscle, I'm blaming you. Not bad, see? You're getting the hang of it. Now, let's try something a bit more advanced. Advanced? I just learned how to stand without falling over. I got to admit, you're not as hopeless as I thought. Keep this up, and you might just become a decent fighter. Hear that? I'm not hopeless. Wait till I tell Lois I'm a decent fighter. Whoa, Donnie! This place is like a geek's paradise. What does this button do? Peter, wait. That's my experimental. Oops. My bad. So much for being tech savvy, huh? It's okay, Peter. Let's start with the basics. This is a bow staff integrated with tech. It can Peter, are you listening? Donnie, what's this shiny thing over here? Looks like a laser pointer on steroids. That's not a toy, Peter. It's a high-intensity plasma cutter. Please be careful with that. Whoa! Is it supposed to make that sizzling sound? Okay, let's try something simpler. This is a basic communication device. Cool. Does it get Netflix? No, Peter, it's for missions, not streaming. You know what? Let's take a break. Maybe some hands-on training would suit you better. Hands-on, you say? Like playing video games? I'm in. Not exactly, but let's see how you handle some real action. Leave me alone. Help someone. This is it. Time to be the hero you always wanted to be. Hey, buddy. Why don't you pick on someone your own size? And who are you supposed to be? I'm the guy who's going to stop you. That was amazing. How did you do that? Let's just say I had some great teachers. Are you okay? Yes, thanks to you. You're a real hero, you know that? I guess I am. Just doing my part to keep the city safe. Peter, slow down. We need to be strategic about this. Don't worry. I've seen this in a movie once. I got this. <laughs> Peter, that was our chance to catch Montague. Oops, my bad. <laughs> this isn't a joke. We're supposed to be a team, but you're just you're just a handsome, charming distraction. I get that a lot. No, you're a walking disaster. We can't have you messing up missions like this. Okay, just follow my lead. Ninja moves require precision and grace. Got it. Precision and ouch. Focus. You need to control your movements. Maybe you should get him rubber nunchucks instead. Sorry. These things are like wild snakes. Maybe I'm more of a bow staff guy? All right. Let's try something less dangerous. Copy this stance. Oh man, this is better than reality TV. Keep it up, Peter. You're killing it. I think my talents lie elsewhere. Like maybe in pizza eating? Okay, team, we need to be stealthy. Peter, your job is to disable the security system here. Just cut the red wire, not the blue one. Got it. Cut the blue wire. No, 
The red wire. The blue one will set off the alarm. Right, right. The green wire. There is no green wire. Peter, that was the blue wire. Oops. My bad, guys. They look so similar. Well, so much for stealth. Turtles, time to kick some shell. Behold my culinary masterpiece, Griffin Special Pizza, topped with everything I love. Dude, is that peanut butter and pickles on it? And don't forget the anchovies and marshmallows. It's a flavor explosion. Bleh, this is like a crime against pizza. Peter, since when does pizza need jelly beans and mustard? Come on, guys, it's fusion cuisine. You need to broaden your culinary horizons. Uh, I think I'll stick to our regular pepperoni, thanks. Bro, this pizza is like a weird science experiment gone wrong. Well, more for me then. You guys don't know what you're missing. Peter, we need to talk. Your actions are becoming a serious problem for the team. What do you mean? I'm just trying to add a little Griffin flair to things. Your flair almost got us caught today. And that pizza. What were you thinking? Hey, I'm bringing creativity and innovation. You know, shake things up a bit. Shake things up? You nearly blew us up with that alarm fiasco. Look, I may not be a ninja master, but I've got street smarts. Sort of. This isn't about being a master. It's about being responsible and a team player. Give me a chance. I can be serious, I think. I'm sorry. Your heart might be in the right place, but this just isn't working out. So, what? Are you kicking me out of the turtle club? It's not a club, Peter. And yes, I think it's best if you step back. Time to show those turtles what Peter Griffin can do. This would be easier if they had some lights on. Villains these days, no respect for visibility. Bingo! This will show Leo and Rap. Uh oh, this is not how I planned it. Well, that escalated quickly. Wait till the turtles hear about this. Peter Griffin, accidental arsonist and hero. Guys, we need to talk about Peter. His heart's in the right place, but... But he turned a stealth mission into a fireworks show. That's like... the opposite of Ninja. His tech skills are, well, non-existent. And his pizza? Let's not talk about the pizza. I never thought I'd say this, but I miss the days when our biggest problem was a shortage of pepperoni. We all agree then. Peter's enthusiasm isn't enough to make up for the chaos he causes. Yeah, it's like putting a bull in a china shop. If the bull also tried to juggle the china. Exactly. It's been fun, sort of, but it's time for Peter to hang up his shell. Agreed. It's for the best. For us, and for him. All right, I'll break the news to him. Let's just hope he takes it well. Peter, we need to talk about your place in the team. What? You guys finally realize you need more of my awesome driving skills? Actually, it's the opposite. We've decided that it might be best if you... Well, if you stopped joining us on missions, you're fired. Wait, what? You're firing me? But I'm just getting the hang of this ninja thing. We appreciate your efforts, but your style and ours, they don't really mesh. I guess I did make a mess of things, huh? More than once. You have a good heart, and you've been a unique addition, but it's just not working out. I understand. No hard feelings. You guys are the best ninjas I know. I'll, uh, I'll miss this. We'll miss you too in our own way. Well, guess it's back to the couch and TV for me. Thanks for the adventure. Take care, Peter. 
guess I'm not cut out for the ninja life. Too many flips and nunchaku thingies. I did have some good times, though. Those pizza disasters. Michelangelo's face was priceless. But who am I kidding? I'm Peter Griffin, the guy who finds a way to mess up even the simplest things. Maybe my real strength is just being, well, me. Yeah, that's it. I'll stick to what I'm good at. Eating, sleeping, and maybe the occasional shenanigan. The turtles have their thing, and I've got mine. Can't believe those shellheads kicked me out. After all the, well, kinda sorta help I gave them. Seems like you've got a bone to pick with the turtles. Whoa, who the heck are you, Batman's fashion-challenged cousin? You know their strengths and weaknesses. I've been looking to even a score with them myself. You mean, you wanna get back at the turtles too? Hey, I might just have the inside scoop, but what's in it for me? You'll get your revenge. And I... I have my reasons. Let's bring them down. All right, Mr. Mysterious, you've got yourself a deal. But let me tell you, it's not gonna be easy. Those guys are tough, especially when they do their ninja thingy. I'm no stranger to challenges. Let's combine our strengths, your knowledge, my skills. They won't see us coming. Yeah, it's payback time. Peter and the Ageless. Sounds like a bad TV show, but I like it. Our best chance is a stealth approach. We'll infiltrate their lair under the cover of darkness. Stealth, huh? I was thinking more like, you know, busting in there, yelling surprise, and then kaboom. Subtlety isn't your strong suit, is it? A direct attack is exactly what they'll expect. We need the element of surprise on our side. Fine, Mr. Sneaky Pants. But can we at least have some cool code names? I've always wanted to be called the Griffinator. Focus, Peter. This isn't a game. We need precision and careful timing. Your knowledge of their habits will be crucial. All right, all right. I know their pizza schedule, their patrol routes. Oh, and Michelangelo's weakness for, well, pretty much anything. Good. We'll use that. Our first move will be to disrupt their supply lines. Hit them where it hurts. Their pizza supply, genius. Those turtles won't know what hit them. They'll be crying over their mozzarella. Once they're disoriented, we'll strike. Be ready, Peter. This will require everything you've got. Sir, yes, sir. Operation Turtle Turmoil is a go. Watch and learn, Ageless. This is how the pros do it. Hiya. Concentrate, Peter. This is serious. Timing is crucial. True. All this ninja stuff is harder than it looks on TV. You think they'll see us coming? Not if we stick to the plan. Remember, we attack when they least expect it. Looks quiet down there. Too quiet. Like the calm before the uh, pizza storm. Patience. They'll show themselves soon. When they do, we strike. Right. Like a silent but deadly, uh, I mean, like a ninja. Yeah, that's it. Keep your eyes open, Peter. The moment is near. Keep your guard up, Mikey. Remember, anticipation is key. I'm always two steps ahead. Leo? Well, except when there's pizza involved. You've improved, but don't let overconfidence be your downfall. Hey, Confidence is my middle name. Michelangelo Confidence. Um, Turtle. We need to be prepared for anything, especially with new threats in town. Right. The Ageless and his mystery pal won't know what hit them. Together, there's nothing we can't handle. What the?
the Peter? And who's the ninja wannabe? I'm your worst nightmare. Prepare yourself, turtle. Yeah, and I'm your, um, second worst nightmare. Take this, shellhead. You guys really didn't think this through, did you? I've seen this in a movie once. Pia! Seriously, Peter, stick to family comedy, not ninja battles. We need to regroup. This isn't over. I'm never going to hear the end of this one. Raph, what happened? We heard noises. Dude, did Peter try to go all ninja on you? You could say that. And he brought a friend. The Ageless, or whatever he calls himself. It's not funny, guys. I could have been a great ninja. I think you're better off sticking to what you know, like eating donuts and watching TV. But we can't ignore the Ageless. He's skilled and dangerous. Agreed. We need to stay alert. He could strike again at any moment. Sorry, guys. I guess I got carried away with the whole revenge thing. No hard feelings, man. Just maybe lay off the ninja gig. That was too close. Need to be more careful next time. This wasn't part of the plan. I never should have gotten involved in this ninja business. What was he thinking, teaming up with the Ageless? I'm not sure, but we need to stay alert. The Ageless won't give up that easily. At least Peter's on the run. No more traps for us to fall into. We need to prepare for whatever the Ageless has planned next. It ends here, Ageless. We can't let you continue this path of destruction. You underestimate my abilities, Turtles. Prepare for your defeat. No more games. Let's see what you've really got. You're not the only one with fancy moves. Your time is up, Ageless. Surrender now. You win this time, Turtles. But this isn't over. He's slippery. We'll need to be on guard for his next move. Right. Let's head back. We've got to stay prepared and alert. Well, that could have gone better. Ninja life is definitely not for me. Maybe I'm better off sticking to what I know. Less getting thrown off rooftops and more. Well, whatever it is I do. I guess it's time for a new adventure. Maybe something less dangerous, like competitive eating or couch surfing. Goodbye, Ninja World. It's been real. Real painful, that is. Leo, I'm in serious trouble here. Wildcat and his goon are laying down heavy fire. I need backup now. Mikey, explain to me how you got cornered like this. I was just leaving April's place, you know, after our date. These guys ambushed me out of nowhere. Stay put, Mikey. We're rushing over. Just try to hold them off a bit longer. Come out, Turtle. You can't hide there forever. So you guys were meant to be ninjas. Whoa! What the...? Who are you? I am just a shadow passing through, young turtle.
Mikey, you all right? What's going on here? Did this guy just save you from Wildcat? Yeah, he totally swooped in and saved my shell. It was insane! We need to find out more about him. He's not just any ordinary fighter. He's like a ninja superhero or something. We gotta track him down. I have to admit, Peter, I never thought I'd find myself on a date with you, but this place is lovely. Yeah, I uh, did a lot of research. By research, I mean I asked the guy at the gas station where's good to eat. Here we are, the chef's special for the lady and the mega-sized meat lover's extravaganza for sir. Wow, that's, that's a lot of meat. I'm not compensating for anything, I promise. It's okay, Peter. It's nice to see someone with a healthy appetite. Is there anything else I can get for you two lovebirds? No, no, we're good. Thanks. Lovebirds, huh? Heh, <laughs> guess we're playing the part pretty well. Oh, absolutely. You're quite the romantic, Peter Griffin. Who knew? Well, I do have a few tricks up my sleeve. You know, like making sure I don't spill anything on this fancy tablecloth. Aim high, Peter, aim high. Hey, look at that dog. Seems like he's trying to tell us something. Hey there, little guy. Are you lost? Well, not exactly lost, more like unattached. And you're the first folks who've actually stopped to chat. Name's Brian, by the way. Whoa, a talking dog. This is like one of those TV shows where animals talk, except it's real. Brian, you can actually talk? That's incredible. Yup, and I've got a lot of stories to tell, but you know, no one to share them with. Well, buddy, how about a piggyback ride? You look like you could use a lift. Oh, I'm all for that. Haven't had this much fun in ages. Brian, do you have a family? A place to call home? Not really. I've been a lone wolf, er, dog for quite some time now. Well, that's about to change. April, what do you say we make this witty fella part of our family? I think that's a wonderful idea. Brian, how would you like to come home with us? Are you kidding? I'd love that. You guys are the best thing that's happened to me in dog years. Welcome to Peely's Paradise for Pets. How can I make your day more possum? We're here to make an official addition to our family. Meet Brian. We want to adopt Brian. He's already stolen our hearts. That's absolutely bananas. I mean, we've had parrots that talk, but this is next level. This place is incredible. So many smells, so many sights. I'll need you to fill out these forms. Just the usual stuff. Promise to give belly rubs, provide endless treats, that sort of thing belly rubs and treats, Brian's going to live like a king. And he deserves it. Congratulations. Brian is officially part of your family now. This is the best day ever. Thank you, Peter and April. You won't regret this. Welcome to the family, buddy. We're so happy to have you, Brian. Hey, Catface, give me that toy now or I'll bite you. Brian, what do you think you're doing? I'm so sorry, sweetie. Brian didn't mean any harm. I was just playing. I didn't mean to make him cry. Brian, that's not how we play with others. You need to apologize to Kit right now. I'm sorry, Kit. I got carried away. It's okay. Just be nicer next time. You're grounded, mister. No more tennis for a while. Grounded? But I just said sorry. Saying sorry is good, but you also need to learn from your mistakes, Brian. And no sneaking out or trying to talk your way out of this one. Okay, I understand. I'll be better, I promise. 
And here we have the living room with natural light flooding in. Isn't it just perfect for family gatherings? Oh, Peter, look at this space. We could have a beautiful Christmas tree right there. And check out this pool table. It's huge. I could play day and night on this. It's too clean. And where's the personality? It feels like a hotel, not a home. But Brian, think of all the space you'll have to play. Yeah, and you can't be grounded in a place this big. You won't even feel it. I don't know. It's just not for me. It's too fancy. It's always tough to move to a new place, Brian. But think of the adventures you could have here. I can't believe this happened. Our beautiful home. Brian, what were you thinking? Making a fire inside the house for marshmallows? I thought it would be fun, like camping. Didn't mean for this to happen. Brian, you burned down our house. That's way beyond a little mischief. We're all upset, but yelling isn't going to fix anything. We need to figure out what to do next. I'm so sorry. I just, I thought the house was too nice. I didn't feel like it was a place for us, you know? More like a museum than a home. Brian, a home is about the people in it, not just the walls and roof. You should have talked to us if you felt that way. We'll figure this out together. But Brian, no more reckless ideas, okay? We need to trust each other. I understand. I promise. No more fires or anything crazy. I just want to make things right. We've got a 10. 31 at the train station. We need you on this ASAP. On my way. No one messes with my city. I wonder if they have those new taco-flavored donuts here. Watch out, kiddo. Oh, this is gonna tip <laughs> Man, can't you guys stay on the sidewalk? Hey, I just saved a kid. Where's my thank you? And maybe an ambulance. All right, all right, you're a hero. But I've got a robbery to stop. Can you move or do I have to carry you? Peter, you okay, man? Talk to me. Yeah, I need an ambulance at Pleasant Piazza. There's been an accident. No, a pedestrian. Hurry. Help's on the way. Hang in there. Always wanted a ride in one of those. With the siren and all. Do you think they'll let me whoop whoop? I'll make sure they do. You know, for a tough guy, you've got a pretty soft heart. Just my luck, saved by a ninja turtle. You're the one who saved that kid. You're the real hero here. Tell that to my spine. It didn't get the memo. I'm sorry, Peter. This was my fault. Hey, I've had worse. Remember the time I fought a chicken for 20 minutes? You're a tough nut. Nut? I prefer donut. What's the matter? Can't handle a little girl power? Who are you? Get off, you big oaf. Gotcha now, little hero. You guys are going to regret this. Keep dreaming, sweetheart. You're ours now. You just sit tight, we've got plans for you. You know, for a guy who just got hit by a Lamborghini, you're looking pretty good. Yeah, I always thought I'd make a pretty handsome pancake. I can't stop thinking about it. If I hadn't been in such a rush... Hey, don't go ninja turtling yourself with guilt. I jumped into the road. Besides, I saved a kid, remember? Yeah, you did. You're a real hero, Peter. And you're not too shabby yourself for a turtle. I mean, how many reptiles drive Italian sports cars? I'm gonna make this right, Peter. I'll catch those robbers. For you. Just promise me one thing. No more civilian pancaking, okay? Promise. And when this is over, first round of donuts is on me. 
Ooh, with sprinkles? Anything you want, Peter. Hey, Raphael, thanks for everything. Anytime you rest up. Guys, I'm telling you, Peter's got potential. He's got guts. We can't let that go to waste. Raphael, he's a regular guy from Quahog. Are we even talking about the same Peter Griffin? Yeah, the dude's cool, but ninja material? He thought nunchaku were a new kind of snack food. And let's not forget his lack of any, well, physical fitness or basic combat skills. That's exactly my point. We can teach him. He's got heart. After all, he did save that kid. Well, he does have courage. I'll give him that. But it's a big leap from courage to ninja. Just give me a chance to train him. Basic weapon use, some ninja techniques. Nothing too crazy. This I gotta see. Pizza Bet says he bails after the first flip. I'm curious about the human capacity for adaptability in extreme conditions. For science, I'm in. All right, Raphael, train him. But remember, we're responsible for whatever happens. You won't regret this. Peter Griffin's gonna become the best honorary Ninja Turtle again. Hopefully this time, maybe. If he survives the training. I'll get the medical kit ready. All right, Peter, let's start with the basics. Ninja stance. Is this like the crane thing from that karate movie? I gotta say, Raphael, this ninja stuff is harder than it looks on TV. You did good, Peter. You've got a lot to learn, but you've got heart. And that's what counts. So when do I get to throw one of those cool ninja stars? Let's stick to the basics for now, Peter. Baby steps. We've got a situation. Montague is threatening to blow up Hazy Hamlet. His explosives are powerful enough to cause a major avalanche. We need to act fast. Let's shell shock this Montague dude. Raphael, I need you and Peter to rescue Gwen. She's being held in a mountain lair. Got it, Leo. We'll get Gwen back. Uh, guys, just a heads up. I'm not exactly a mountain ninja yet. You've trained hard, Peter. We believe in you. Plus, you'll have Raphael. And don't forget the most important thing, pizza for the road. Let's do this, Peter. For Gwen and for Hazy Hamlet. Right, for Gwen and not getting frozen. I thought ninja training was tough, but this is a whole new level of crazy. Stay sharp, Peter. The robbers could be anywhere. Peter, watch your back. Whoa. Not exactly the kind of chilling I had in mind. I've got to save Gwen. For Raphael, for all of us. Peter, what are you doing here? I'm here to rescue you. Raphael and I, well, now it's just me. You're more than just a hard shell ninja, we make a pretty good team. You did good, Peter. I guess you're more than just a funny guy. To Peter, our unlikely hero, and to Raphael's speedy recovery. Who's up for a pizza eating contest? Leo, ever since Peter pulled that stunt, I can't shake this feeling. What if he tries something again? What if April isn't safe? We've handled worse, Mikey, but you're right. We can't let our guard down. Not with Peter's unpredictable antics. It's just, April's been through so much already. The idea of her getting hurt because of some twisted scheme Peter's cooked up. 
It eats me up inside, man. Here's what we do. We amp up our patrols around the city, especially near April's usual spots. I'll tap into the city's security camps. Keep an eye out for anything unusual. Yeah, yeah. That could work. Maybe we can get Donnie to whip up some tech to help us out too. And we'll keep training. We need to be ready for anything. Peter's antics are one thing, but who knows what else is out there. We'll protect her, Kawabunga dude. We've got this. No one messes with our family. No one. It's like I can't escape this feeling of being watched, Gwen. Ever since that night with Peter, I feel exposed, vulnerable. I understand. It's tough feeling like your safety is compromised. But remember, you're not going through this alone. I know, and I appreciate it. It's just hard to shake off the fear. I used to feel safe in this city now. What you're feeling is completely normal after such an ordeal. But we can take steps to make you feel safer. Maybe some self-defense classes? It could help you regain a sense of control. Maybe you're right. Learning to defend myself might help me feel more empowered. Absolutely. And I'm here for you, whatever you need. Training, patrols, even just someone to talk to. Thanks. It means a lot to have someone who understands. I'm not going to let fear control my life. Okay, I've got a new plan. It's going to be epic. After your last masterpiece, I'm almost afraid to ask. What's the grand scheme this time, Peter? I'm going to stage a grand gesture, something that'll definitely win April over. I need to make a big impression. And how exactly do you plan on doing that without landing in jail or worse? I'll create a scenario where April is in trouble, and then, out of nowhere, I'll swoop in to save her. It's foolproof. Peter, that sounds incredibly risky and dishonest. What happened to just being yourself? Come on, in the world of love, you gotta be bold. Besides, what April doesn't know won't hurt her, right? This could backfire horribly. Trust me, after I save April, she'll see me as her hero. Michelangelo won't stand a chance. You're going to tell me everything you know about Peter's plan, now. I don't want any trouble. Peter paid me to set up a fake robbery. It was supposed to make him look like a hero in front of April. He staged a crime to play hero? That's low, even for him. He wanted to scare April, make it look like he saved her from a robber. I just did what he told me to do. That's messed up, using fear and deceit. It's not how a real hero acts. Please, I just needed the money. I didn't think anyone would get hurt. Just stay out of this from now on. Peter's going to answer for this. You've got some explaining to do. We know all about your little stunt with the fake robbery. Guys, it's not what you think. I can explain. Save it. We spoke to the guy. You set the whole thing up to play hero for April. I was just trying to impress her. I didn't think it would go this far. You didn't think at all. You played with April's feelings, with all our lives. I'm sorry. I never meant for anyone to get hurt. Sorry, it doesn't cut it. You've messed up big time. You're going to make this right, one way or another. I know I messed up. I thought if I made Michelangelo look bad, April would turn to me. I was just so tired of being the funny guy, the one no one takes seriously. You thought faking a crime, playing with April's fears was the way to her heart? What were you thinking? I wasn't thinking, I just, I saw you two together and something snapped. I wanted to be the hero for once. Heroes don't lie and manipulate. Heroes stand up for what's right. I'm sorry. To you, Michelangelo. To April. I never meant to hurt anyone. I just wanted to be... April, you have to believe me. Peter's confession changed everything. He orchestrated the whole robbery to get closer to you. Michelangelo, I want to believe you, but everything I saw, it felt so real. I know how it looked, but you know me. You know I'd never do anything to hurt you. Our connection, what we have, 
It's real. I'm just so confused. One minute everything's perfect and the next it's all falling apart. I know it's a lot to take in, but I'm here. I'm not going anywhere. We can get through this together. I need some time to sort through all of this. Take all the time you need. I'll be here when you're ready. How could he, after everything we've been through? April, you have to listen to me. That photo? It's not what it looks like. I saw the picture. How could you do this to me? It was Peter. He set me up to make me look bad in front of you. I can't do this right now. I need space. Please, just give me a chance to explain. I can't, not now. I think I should tell April everything about the staged robbery, the fake photo. Even if it means she'll hate me forever. April deserves the truth. But what if she never forgives me? What if this just makes everything worse? Sometimes doing the right thing is the hardest. You owe it to April and to me, to be honest. Okay, I'll do it. I'll tell her everything. It's time to own up to my mistakes. Good luck. I hope she can find it in her heart to forgive you. Thanks, Michelangelo, for understanding and for the push to do the right thing. We all make mistakes. It's what we do next that defines us. April, I... I need to talk to you. It's important. What is it, Peter? What did you want to talk about? Everything. The robbery. The photo of Michelangelo. It was all a setup. My setup. Why, Peter? Why would you do something like that? I was selfish. I thought if I could make Michelangelo look bad, you might see me differently. But I was wrong. So wrong. That's a lot to take in. I trusted you. I know, and I'm so sorry. I understand if you can't forgive me, but I had to tell you the truth. Thank you for being honest. It means something that you came here to set things right. I'll leave you be. Again, I'm sorry for everything. You look like a man weighed down by the world. Perhaps I could offer some assistance? And what kind of assistance could a complete stranger offer me? Let's just say I specialize in solving delicate problems. Problems that need a creative touch. Mr. X, problem solver extraordinaire. What kind of problem solver? The kind who can make your worries disappear. Give me a call when you're ready to make a change. You've been staring at that screen for hours, Mikey. What's going on in that head of yours? I'm wrestling with what to do about Peter. Do I confront him again or wait for him to come clean to April? It's a tough call, but sometimes the hardest thing to do is to step back and let things unfold. Patience might be your best ally here. Yeah, maybe you're right, Leo. But it's hard, you know? Seeing April hurt like that, it's eating me up. Whatever you decide, Mikey, we're with you. And remember, sometimes the right path isn't the easiest one. Peter, stay away from me. You're scaring me. April, you can't leave me. We're meant to be together. I don't belong to you, Peter. It's over. You will always be mine, April. I won't let you leave. Michelangelo, it's April. Peter's gone crazy. He won't let me leave his house. I need your help. April, what's going on? Where are you? I'm in his house. I don't know exactly where. Please hurry, Michelangelo. Where are you? You can't hide from me. April, 
I'm coming right now, just hang. Dude, what's wrong? You look like you've seen a ghost. It's April. Peter's lost it. He's holding her captive. We need to go get her, like, now. Captive? That's messed up, even for Peter. She sounded really scared, Raph. We can't waste any time. Let's move. We're gonna bring her back safe. We've got to be quick and quiet. Stealth mode, Raph. You got it. Stealth mode it is. Wait! Is that Snake? Snake, man, we could really use your help. April's in trouble. Yeah, we think she's at her place. We're heading to check her house first. I'll take Peter's house. Leave it to me. Two guards. Standard patrol patterns. Easy. Two down. Time to find April. Hang in there. I'm on the way. Be quiet. You're not going anywhere. Peter, please just let me go. Let her go, Peter. It's over. Who is this guy? He looks like a scuba instructor. You shot me! Stay still or I'll finish you off. Are you hurt, April? No, I'm okay, thanks to you. Where do you think you are going, you fat mess? Let's get you out of here. Thank you for saving me, Snake. I... I don't know what would have happened if you hadn't shown up. You're safe now. That's what matters. I've heard about you. You're kind of a legend. But no one seems to know much about you. Who are you, really? I'm just a soldier. That's all there is to it. But there's got to be more. How did you become this... this person who can just appear out of nowhere and save people? Some stories are better left untold. My past... It's complicated. I get it. You have your secrets. But for what it's worth, I'm really grateful for your help. I get it. You have your secrets. But for what it's worth, I'm really grateful for your help. Sometimes helping others is the only way to make amends for the past. That meddling snake and those infernal turtles, they'll pay for this. Sir. Your leg needs proper treatment, but more importantly, we need a plan. A plan, yes. We need to end this, once and for all. April, she must be mine, and no one else's. It's not just Snake and the Turtles. There are others who could interfere. Yes, we need more than just brute force. We need a proper alliance. I might have a suggestion. Montague and Wildcat. If we team up with them, we could have the upper hand. Yes, yes, that could work. Together, we could be unstoppable. We'll crush those turtles and anyone who stands in our way. I'll reach out to them immediately. With this alliance, the turtles won't stand a chance. Make it happen. It's time to show them the true meaning of vengeance. They will all pay. April will be mine. And then Solid Snake just bursts through the door, like something out of an action movie. Wow, that's incredible. He actually came to rescue you? This is like a real life hero stuff. Solid Snake is like a legend. I know, right? He was so calm and focused, it was like nothing could phase him. That's so brave. 
I mean, to just walk into danger like that, he must be really courageous. Yeah, he's more than just a soldier. There's something about him, like he's fighting for something bigger than himself. And he just swooped in and saved you from that creep, Peter. Exactly. One minute I was trapped and the next I'm being whisked away to safety. It all happened so fast. It's like you're a damsel in distress and he's the knight in shining armor. Well, I wouldn't go that far. But yeah, it was pretty dramatic. This is the kind of story you see in movies, not real life. Hey, Snake. Mind if we join you? What brings you two out here? We need your help, Snake. There's a situation brewing. I thought I left all this behind. What kind of situation? It's the villains. They're teaming up, including Shredder. It's... it's bad. Shredder, huh? That's not good. We could really use your skills, Snake. You're the best at what you do. I sought solitude to escape this life. To find peace. We understand, but we wouldn't be here if it wasn't critical. We respect your choice, whatever it may be. I've always fought for what's right. It's hard to ignore the call to action, even now. Your experience could make the difference. We need you. All right, I'll do it. But when this is over, I go back to my solitude. That's my condition. Of course, thank you. You won't regret it. Team Huddle, it's time to kick some villain butt. You've got a good setup here. Now, let's talk strategy. Our usual tactics might not cut it against this new alliance of villains. Stealth is key, but we'll also need a solid defense. These villains aren't going to hold back. We're the Turtles. We never back down from a fight. And with Snake's help, we're stronger than ever. We've got our roles. Let's make sure we're all in sync. Remember, precision and timing will be crucial. Keep an eye out. I'll give you a signal once I'm inside. Almost there. So much for stealth. Snake, where are you? Get in. Nice timing. Hurry up, Snake! Mission accomplished. Well, this place gives me the creeps. It's like every horror movie I've ever seen rolled into one. And yet, no sign of the haunted cabin. Are you sure we're not just lost in a very spooky episode of House Hunters? Remember, we're here for the Green Beret. Legends don't just find themselves. Maybe it's the welcoming committee? Or a squirrel with a taste for dramatic timing? Keep your eyes peeled. He's supposed to be a master of stealth. For all we know, he could be watching us right now. Great, now I'm expecting a ninja squirrel. Thanks for that. There it is, the lair of the mysterious commando. Think he's got Wi-Fi? Doubt it. He's old school. Probably communicates with smoke signals and carrier pigeons. Looking for someone? Split up. Meet at the rendezvous point. Good plan, except I didn't bring my GPS. Why is it always explosions? Just once, I'd like a nice, quiet mission. Michelangelo, status. Living my best action hero life. How about you? Just peachy. Avoiding flying objects and contemplating my life choices. Rendezvous in 20. Next time, let's stick to the plan. Where's the fun in that? Another sunset on this island. Who would have thought that Solid Snake would yearn for peace? 
All those years of conflict, espionage, and for what? A moment's peace. This island, Fortnite, it's a paradox, a place of constant battle. Yet here I am, finding a semblance of tranquility. No more missions, no more orders, just me and the quiet. Maybe this is what I was fighting for all along, a chance to just be. Man, you should have seen it. Explosions, gunfire. It was like a Michael Bay movie. Yeah, just another day at the office for us. Oh, really? You guys look like you've just seen a ghost. Or was it the boogeyman? Let me guess, the old man in the woods got you spooked? Hey, it's not funny. That guy's like a ninja. A ninja with explosives. And we managed to escape, didn't we? That counts for something. Oh, absolutely. You bravely ran away. Very heroic. I bet we could have handled it without breaking a sweat. Oh, yeah? Why don't you try it? I dare you to go find Solid Snake yourself. Is that a challenge? Yeah, it is. If you're not too scared of an old man in the woods. You're on. Let's see what this legend is all about. There he is, Solid Snake in the flesh. He doesn't look so tough, just an old guy fishing. You're in over your heads, kids. Leave before I decide you're more trouble than you're worth. Uh, we just wanted to talk. Yeah, no trouble here, just big fans. Fans, huh? All right. You've got five minutes to explain yourselves. And that's why we need your help. You're the only one with the skills to guide us. Yeah, you're like a legend. We could really use someone like you on our team. I'm retired for a reason. But this mission could change everything. It's not just about us, it's bigger than that. I've left that life behind. The constant battles, the sneaking around. I'm done with that. What if we promise that after this, you can retire in peace? No more disturbances, no more missions. You're really not going to let this go, are you? Nope. All right, I'll help you, but on one condition. After this, it's back to my quiet retirement. No exceptions. Here's the situation. Montague has developed a time bomb capable of massive destruction. We need to stop it before it's too late. And that's where you come in, Snake. We need your stealth skills to infiltrate Montague's base. It's heavily guarded, so going in guns blazing isn't an option. Stealth, huh? That I can do. Tell me more about this bomb. The bomb is controlled by a central CPU. If we can secure that, we can prevent the detonation. And you're the best guy for the job. Your experience with this kind of mission is exactly what we need. Getting to the CPU won't be easy. Montague's base is like a fortress. No pressure, right? No pressure. Let's do this. There it is. Montague's fortress, tight security just as expected. Looks like Fort Knox down there. How do you plan to get in? You're kidding, right? You're going to infiltrate the most secure base on the island with a walkie-talkie? This isn't just any walkie-talkie. It's the key to getting past those guards unnoticed. I've heard of thinking outside the box, but this is taking it to a whole new level. Underestimating this walkie-talkie would be a mistake. It's gotten me through tighter spots than this. I've got to see this in action. This is better than a magic trick. Gotta admit, it's a genius level of stealth. Keep an eye out. I'll give you a signal once I'm inside. I can't believe that's actually working. Never underestimate the element of surprise. Almost there. So much for stealth. Snake, where are you? 
get in. Nice timing. Hurry up, Snake! Mission accomplished. Well, that was intense. Here it is. The mission's success. You did it, Snake. We couldn't have pulled this off without you. You were amazing out there! The way you handled those guards and that escape! Dude, you're a legend! I have to admit, your tactics are on a whole other level. You know, I thought I wanted a quiet retirement, but being out there today with all of you, it reminded me of something. What's that? That I'm not just a soldier. I'm a fighter. And maybe, just maybe, I've still got some fight left in me. Are you saying what I think you're saying? I'm considering it. This mission, your camaraderie, the thrill of action, it's been a long time since I felt this alive. So you're thinking about sticking around? Maybe it's time to put retirement on hold. There are still battles worth fighting for, and I think I'd like to fight them with all of you. Welcome to the Team Snake. We're honored to have you with us. This is going to be epic! Remember, quiet as a mouse, Snake. I've done this more times than you've had hot pizzas. <laughs> Looks like Peter's got some interesting hobbies. Focus, we're here for the stash, not a circus show. Time to crack this bad boy open. I'll keep watch. Be quick about it. Bingo! The mother load! Let's move out. We've got what we came for. Smooth operation, Snake. You sure you don't want to join the Turtles? Let's just say I'm better off solo. But you guys aren't bad company. Another successful heist. Peter will be broke and have no weapons. His reign of terror will end. Pizza on me? And then with this stash, I'll get myself a shiny new Lamborghini. Oh, and a lifetime supply of pizza. That's the life, right? Affirmative, sir. Your plans sound most indulgent. Get ready to feast your electronic eyes on this. What? Empty? How is this possible? It appears we have been compromised, sir. Compromised? This is a disaster. My Lamborghini. My pizza. their fault. Those meddling turtles and that sneaky snake. This isn't over. They'll pay for this. They'll pay dearly. Shall I initiate security protocol, sir? No! It's time for a more direct approach. I'll make them regret ever crossing me. Dude, that was like taking candy from a baby. Peter's villainous base was about as secure as a cardboard box. He's got to be the worst criminal mastermind I've ever seen. Wow, what time do you call this? This stuff. It's almost embarrassing how easy it was to snatch it from him. But let's not forget the real bad guys we faced, like Shredder. Sounds like your Shredder was a piece of work. Reminds me of Revolver Ocelot. That guy was a formidable adversary. Yeah, Shredder. He was no joke. Hey, Raph. You okay, bro? I just... I need some air.
that's not like Raph. Something's up. His encounter with Shredder? It must have hit him harder than we thought. Sometimes, the toughest battles are the ones we fight within ourselves. Raphael, you seem troubled. What's on your mind? It's about Shredder, and the night we thought we had him cornered. Yeah, that was one gnarly night. I still get the chills thinking about it. We were confident. Maybe too confident. Shredder was always one step ahead. His moves were, it was like fighting against a shadow. Each move he made was precise and deadly. We were fighting not just for victory, but for survival. Dude. If it weren't for Splinter jumping in at the last second? Shredder is a formidable opponent for anyone. It changed how I see our battles. Shredder's not just another villain. He's a force we can't underestimate. Montague, you've got to help me out. They took everything. I need V-Bucks, lots of V-Bucks. I want a new Lambo and lots of pizza. Peter, your lack of foresight is not my concern. I have bigger plans than financing your luxury cravings. Yes, I see. That changes things. What is it? Something important? It appears an opportunity has presented itself. One that could benefit us both. I'm listening. Let's just say our mutual problem with the turtles and Solid Snake could be solved with a b collaborative approach. I'm listening. It will require careful planning, resources, and most importantly, discretion. If we play our cards right, we could turn the tables on our adversaries. I'm in. Whatever it takes to get back at them. Good. Prepare yourself, Peter. We're about to embark on a venture that will change the game entirely. Montague, are you sure about this? This place gives me the creeps. Feels like a trap. Patience, Peter. This is where our plan begins. Trust me. This isn't right, man. I didn't sign up for grave robbing or whatever this is. Silence, Peter. It's almost time. From the shadows of the past, I summon you, Shredder. Montague, what have you done? Welcome back, Shredder. We have much to discuss. Who dares disturb my slumber? This just got real. Fear the wrath of Shredder! Shredder, leave April alone, just take me! You two will be the start of my slave army. We've got a serious problem. What's going on, Snake? It's April and Donatello. They're missing. And there's been sightings of someone fitting Shredder's description. Shredder? But how? We thought he was... This is bad. Really bad. If Shredder's back, we're in deep trouble. We need to stay calm and think this through. Panic won't help us find them. But, uh, dude... Shredder's like our worst nightmare. And now, Leo and Donnie are out there with him. Okay, okay. We need a plan. Snake, what can we do? First, we gather intel. 
we need to find out where Shredder might have taken them. And fast. Every second counts. We've faced tough odds before. We'll find them, Mikey. Let's gear up. We're going into hostile territory and we need to be prepared for anything. Shredder, whatever you're planning, it won't work. You can't win this. Silence. Your heroics end here. We'll never stop fighting you, Shredder. Our friends will come for us. Let them come. It will be their downfall. Okay, Ernie. Remember, stealth is key. We've got to be like ninjas. Big, feathery, and human-shaped ninjas. I still can't believe we're sneaking up on Solid Snake. The guy's a legend. Are you sure this is a good idea? Absolutely. I've watched like three spy movies. I'm basically an expert. We sneak in, destroy his gear, and bam, heroes of Fortnite. But why are we doing this at night? I can barely see anything. That's the point, Ernie, the cover of darkness. Plus, I couldn't find my night vision goggles. Borrowed them to Stewie for a science thingy. There it is. You sure he's not home? Trust me. If there's one thing I know, it's how to not be found. Learned it from playing hide-and-seek with Lois. You know, I've always had a knack for this sneaky stuff. Maybe I missed my calling as a super spy. Or maybe you just missed calling for common sense. Why didn't we just knock on the door and ask nicely? Ernie, my feathered friend. That's not how action heroes do it. We need to make an entrance. Bingo. What have we here? An oversized bird and... Is that Peter Griffin? Amateurs. But even a chicken can peck if cornered. And Griffin's unpredictability is legendary. Didn't expect visitors tonight. Especially not these two. What's their play? Sabotage? Espionage? Let's see how far they get before I have to step in. Whatever you're up to, Peter, Ernie, you're in my world now and I'm always one step ahead. Peter, I've got a bad feeling about this. It's like someone's watching us. Relax, Ernie. You're just jumpy because we're in enemy territory. Plus, I've got our six covered. Peter, I'm shot. Oh man, oh man, sniper. We've got a sniper. I knew this was a bad idea. Do something? I'm lying here with a bullet in my leg, and you are standing there complaining. I'm getting shot at too, Ernie. I can't exactly pinpoint where the shots are coming from. This is bad. This is really bad. Why didn't I just stay home and watch TV? Okay, Peter, be brave. You can do this. Just a quick peek. Nope, nope, nope. Definitely not clear. Ernie, you've got to crawl over here. We need to make a break for it. Crawl? With a bullet in my leg? Oh, this is just great! I'm hitting the gas. I never should have listened to your plan, Peter. Yeah, well, hindsight is 2020, Ernie. Just focus on not bleeding on the seats. This is all your fault, Peter. Look at me. I'm shot. We never should have tried to break into Snake's cabin. I know. It was a bad idea. But who knew Snake would be such a good shot? Stop the vehicle now. Oh, hey there, Snake. Fancy seeing you here in our, uh, Jeep. Please, Mr. Snake. We didn't mean any harm. We're just idiots. Get out of the Jeep, Peter, and you, chicken, stay put. Listen, Snake, this was just a big misunderstanding. You know, a prank gone wrong. A prank? 
breaking into my cabin and destroying my equipment is a prank to you? When you put it like that, it does sound pretty bad. We're really sorry, Snake. Really, really sorry. We need to have a talk. Please, Snake, I have a family and a dog who talks. You can't do this. Peter, close your eyes and start counting to 10. Counting to 10? Like in the movies before you. Oh man, this is it. One, two, three, four, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, you can shoot now, Snake. Wait a minute, he's gone? I'm alive. But, oh no, I'm stranded. This is like that. One time I got lost at the supermarket. Well, Peter, time to find your way back. Maybe I'll follow the stars. Which way is north again? You're with me now, Ernie. Consider yourself my guest. Guest? More like a hostage. What are you going to do with me? For starters, you're going to follow my orders, and you're going to stay out of trouble. Where are we? Some kind of secret base? Something like that. It's my safe house. No one will find you here. So what? Am I your prisoner now? You gonna lock me up and throw away the key? Not exactly. Let's just say you'll be assisting me, and in return, you'll stay safe and sound. Assisting you? With what? I'm just a giant talking chicken, remember? You'd be surprised how useful a giant talking chicken can be, you'll see. Well, this sure beats getting shot at. But I've got a feeling this is going to be one weird adventure. Need to find a way past that turret. There you are, finally found you. How did you even know where to look? No time to explain, we need to move now. How did I end up in this mess? Wrong place, wrong time. Focus on staying alive. crazier than that time I fought Peter. Buckle up. It's going to be a bumpy ride. You're safe now. Let's get you out of here. Thanks. I owe you one. Next time, I'll double check the party invitation. And then Solid Snake just swooped in and saved the day. It was like something out of a movie. Wow. He really does sound incredible. It's like he's not just a hero. You know what? I've been thinking. It's time for a change. I can't keep going back to Peter. He's just, he's not Solid Snake. I get it. And honestly, I'm feeling the same way. Miles is great, but there's something about a man who can face danger like Snake does. Exactly. It's like, how can you settle for ordinary when you've seen extraordinary? So what are we going to do about it? I'm going to end things with Peter. It's time to move on. Maybe even find someone like Snake. I'm breaking up with Miles. It's not fair to him or to me. I want adventure, excitement, someone who lives on the edge. Here's to new beginnings. And maybe, just maybe, to catching the eye of a certain elusive hero. To new beginnings and to Solid Snake, the man who's unknowingly stolen our hearts. April, what's going on? Are we going on a trip or something? Peter, we need to talk. I'm leaving. Leaving? What do you mean? Is this because I ate the last slice of pizza again? No, Peter. It's not about the pizza. It's about me needing a change. I can't be with you anymore. But April, we're great together. Remember that time we- It's not enough, Peter. I need more than just memories of silly antics. I need something different. 
I'm sorry, Peter. Goodbye. Miles, we need to talk. Sure. What's up? I've been doing a lot of thinking, and I've decided we should break up. Break up? Did I do something wrong? Is it because I web-sling in my sleep? No, Miles, it's not you. It's me. I need to find something different. Something more. More than a Spider-Man? What are you looking for? A spider snake? Something like that. I'm sorry, Miles. Well, I can't compete with a spider snake, can I? If that's what you need, then I guess... Good luck. Spider snake? Now, there's an idea for a comic. So, April, how do we do this? How do we decide who gets to pursue Solid Snake? I guess we could... I don't know, draw straws, flip a coin? No, this is too important for chance. We need a competition, something fair. Like what, a race? A quiz on who knows him better? I was thinking more along the lines of a duel. You mean like physically? It's the only way, may the best woman win. This is crazy, Gwen. Love makes us do crazy things. Can I get one day of quiet? Oh, Solid Snake. You're just the man we were looking for. Snake, we need to talk to you. Hold on, what's going on here? Hey Snake, are you a camera? Because every time I see you, I smile. If you were a vegetable, you'd be a cute cumber. Enough. I don't know what this is about, but take it somewhere else. Sorry, Snake. We got a little carried away. Yeah, our apologies. We'll just leave you to your peace. Maybe it's time to invest in a no trespassing sign. I can't believe we just made fools of ourselves in front of Solid Snake. We need something drastic. What about magic? Magic? That's it. Peter, I heard he dabbles in sorcery. Really? Well, it's worth a try. We need your help. Can you cast a love spell on Solid Snake? A love spell? You think I'm a wizard or something? We've heard rumors. You're our last hope. Well, I'm not one to disappoint. Let's see what I can do. Behold the magic mushrooms of love. One bite and Solid Snake will be yours. Are you sure about this? As sure as I can be. Now who's first? Now, go forth and find your hero. Here goes nothing. This is crazy, but I'm desperate enough to try anything. Hey, Solid Snake, fancy meeting you here? I was just in the neighborhood and thought, you know, why not say hi? Gwen, what do you want? Anyway, I was wondering if you'd like to try this special mushroom. It's, uh, really good. A mushroom? Right now? This better be good. So, do you feel anything? Like, I don't know, feelings of affection? What was in that mushroom? Solid Snake, I'm so sorry. I didn't think it would make you sick. Just leave me alone. 
solid, Snake. I heard about what happened. How are you feeling? Better, I guess. What brings you here? I, um, wanted to see if you were okay, and I brought you something. It's a special mushroom. I was hoping, well, hoping it might make you feel better. Another mushroom? After yesterday? I promise this one's different. Please, just try it. I feel strange. April, I don't know how to say this, but I suddenly feel like, like you're the most important person in my life. Really? That's, that's great. I want to be with you, April. I don't know why, but I feel like I've been waiting for this moment my whole life. I feel the same way, Snake. This is like a dream come true. Ernie, this is so beautiful. I never knew you were such a romantic. Hope for you I'd go to the ends of the earth. You mean everything to me. Ernie, after what he tried to do to my cabin, I can't just let this slide. I'll do whatever it takes to split them up. And then Hope, she'll see the truth. She'll see that I'm the one she should be with. It's time to put my plan into action. Ernie won't know what hit him. Guys, I've got big news. I'm planning to propose to Hope. I've never been so sure about anything in my life. Proposal, huh? Ernie, are you sure you're ready for that step? Marriage is a big deal. Yeah, dude. Love is awesome and all, but maybe take a bit more time to, you know, understand each other. I appreciate your concern, guys, but I've never felt this way about anyone. Hope is special. She's the one. Well, if you're sure, then I guess congrats, man. Just remember, weddings mean a lot of planning and a lot of cake. And don't forget the bachelor party. We're going to throw you the wildest party ever, dude. Thanks, guys. I just can't wait to start our future together. Hope and I, we're going to have an amazing life. And then Ernie said the sweetest thing. He's just so charming and thoughtful. Sounds like you've really got a catch there, Hope. Ernie's a lucky guy. I feel like the lucky one. He makes every day special. Everyone stay where you are. Wallets, cash, and phones on the table now. You two, hurry up, hand it over. You're more trouble than you're worth. That was incredible. Solid Snake, you just saved us. Thank you so much. We were so scared. You're a real hero. Just doing what needed to be done. Are you two okay? Yes, thanks to you. You handled that like it was nothing. You're amazing, Snake. I'm glad you're both safe. I'm Solid Snake. Thank you, Solid Snake. I'm Hope and this is April. You were amazing. Just doing what's necessary. It's not every day you encounter danger like this, but when you do, it's good to be prepared. We can't thank you enough. You're like a real life action hero. Someone like you seems like they could appreciate a bit more adventure. Life's too short for the ordinary. Maybe you're right. Adventure does have its appeal. See you around, ladies. Can you believe that just happened? Solid Snake, right here, saving us. He's incredible. So brave and interesting. And he totally seemed into you, Hope. Did you see the way he talked to you? You think so? I don't know, April. I mean, I'm with Ernie, but Solid Snake, he's just so different. He definitely likes you, I can tell. You should explore that, see where it goes. Maybe. 
Maybe I will. Nice little note never hurt anyone. Well, I should get going. Thanks for lunch, April. Anytime, Hope. See you later. What's this? But I can't lose this hey, Hope. If you ever change your mind about Ernie the Chicken, ring me. Snake. Oh my gosh, he's... he's incredible. But Ernie, I feel bad for him. What do I do now? Snake is so hot, but I can't just forget about Ernie. Hey Hope, you okay? You seem a bit... off tonight. Oh, it's nothing, Ernie. I'm just a bit tired, that's all. Well, if you're tired, we can hang out another time. I just wanted to spend some time with you. Yeah, that sounds good, Ernie. I just need to use the bathroom quickly. Hey, maybe I will take you up on your offer. Hope. What am I doing? But I can't stop thinking about him. Ernie, I'm really tired. I think I need an early night. Could we maybe call it a night? Of course, Hope. I hope you feel better. Just let me know if you need anything. Thanks, Ernie. I'll see you soon. Hope, I wasn't sure you'd come. I had to see you, Snake. After the other day, I couldn't stop thinking about you. This is crazy. We shouldn't be doing this, but I can't help it. Neither can I. There's something between us. I feel it. What about Ernie? I don't want to hurt him, but... I know. We need to be careful. Keep this between us for now. It's going to be hard, but I agree. We can't just ignore what's happening here. We'll figure it out. For now, let's just take this one step at a time. I should go before someone sees us. I'll be in touch. Be careful. Guys, I'm really worried about Hope. She's been acting so distant lately. Maybe she's just under a lot of pressure at work, Ernie. It happens. Yeah, dude. Sometimes life just gets busy, you know? Doesn't mean anything's wrong. I don't know. It feels different. She's not herself. And it's not just being busy. It's like she's... elsewhere. Listen, Ernie. Hope's a great girl. I'm sure whatever it is, you guys can talk it out. Maybe plan something special for her. Like a surprise date night. That could cheer her up. Maybe you're right. I just can't shake this feeling, though. Just give it some time, buddy. Things will work out. Yeah, and we're here for you, man. Anytime you need to talk. What am I doing? Ernie is wonderful, but with Snake, it's just different, exhilarating. I thought I knew what I wanted, but now, everything's so complicated. This can't go on. I can't keep leading a double life. It's not fair to Ernie or to me. I need to make a choice. I can't keep being torn like this. I'm glad you wanted to meet. Is everything okay? Ernie, we need to talk. It's about us. What's wrong? Is there anything I can do? It's not you, Ernie. You've been amazing. It's me. I... I think we should break up. Break up? But why? Is it... Is there someone else? 
No, no, it's not about another man. I'm just too busy with work and friends. I don't think I can be in a relationship right now. If you're sure, I just want you to be happy, Hope. If this is what you need. I'm so sorry, Ernie. You deserve someone who can give you their all. I'll always care about you, Hope. If you ever need anything, I'll be here. Thank you, Ernie. Goodbye. Oh, what a day! What a lovely day! Hope's gonna flip when she hears about this place. Apologies, giant chicken man, Ernie. But it's time to end this once and for all. You and me, it's... It's just not healthy. Guess this is what they call foul play, huh? hasn't come home yet and I'm really worried. Ernie? The giant chicken? No, I haven't seen him today. You checked his usual spots? Yes, everywhere. He's just vanished. Have you tried the other side of the road? Not funny, Miles. Not funny. You know sometimes you're a real jerk. Ernie? It's important. Ernie? Who's Ernie? Sorry, doesn't ring a bell. He's a giant chicken. Hard to miss. Please, think. Wish I could help, but nope. Haven't seen any giant chickens around. Drift, please, anything could help. I know a giant banana. A man with a tomato for a head and a guy who has a burger face. Will they do? Thanks for nothing, Drift, you boomer. Raphael, you have to help me. Ernie's missing and I don't know what to do. I haven't seen him, but we'll start a search. Don't worry, we'll find him. Peter. I can't find Ernie anywhere. I've asked everyone. You're my last hope. Can you help? Ernie? Missing? Oh no, that's terrible. Of course, I'll help Hope. I don't know what to do. He never just disappears like this. Don't you worry, Hope. I've watched enough detective shows. I'll crack this case in no time. Really? Oh, thank you. No problem. Ernie's a big guy. He can't be that hard to find. I'll start my investigation right away. I really miss him. I hope nothing bad has happened to him. I'm an excellent detective. I'll crack the case wide open if you'll excuse me. That was so corny. Jeff, how's our sea rescued guest doing? The one we found floating a few days ago. Oh, the big chicken dude? I think he's up and about, sir. Good day, Midas. Thanks for pulling me out of the drink. Ernie, you're like a new bird. Quite the transformation. He looks so... so cool. Ernie, how would you like to join my ranks? I could use a man... or chicken of your caliber. Tempting offer, Midas. But I've got my sights set on something. Or someone else. Oh, do tell. A certain Mr. Peter Griffin and I have unfinished business. 
a showdown, if you will. Ah, a personal vendetta. But remember, my offer stands. Together, we could rule this island, amass all the V-Bucks one could dream of. Thanks, but my path is clear. It's time I faced Peter once and for all. A chicken with a mission. This island never ceases to amaze. Okay, Peter, just make sure he's really gone. No giant chicken, no problem. Looking for something, Peter? Ernie, you're... you're supposed to be... How did you... I've had a little upgrade, Peter. And now, it's time we settled our score. Now, Ernie, let's talk about this. It was just a joke, you know? Ha ha, funny. Funny? I don't find anything humorous about this, Peter. Oh boy, this is not how I saw my day going. You can run, Peter, but you can't hide. This isn't over! So, as I was saying, this partnership could really benefit... Dude, was that you? No, no, it wasn't me, I swear! That's it! Meeting's over! Get out, Peter! But guys, listen! It's not what it smells like! Make sure Peter gets the special dish, will you? Consider it done. And then I said, No! That's not how you pluck a chicken! Enjoy your meal, specially prepared for you. Peter, something's wrong. I feel sick. Me too! What on earth did we eat? Fill it up, please. And be careful with her. She's my new baby. Sorry, Peter but your ride's about to get a little bumpy. No, no, no. My beautiful Lambo. What happened? That darn giant chicken. I bet it was him. Enjoy the flat ride, Peter. This ends today, Ernie. You and me, right here, right now. I've been waiting for this, Peter. Let's settle our scores once and for all. This is like something out of a movie. Can't believe this is happening. You're tougher than you look, chicken. Not so funny now, huh, Peter? No more games. It's time to end this once and for all. All right, Griffin, you got this. Chicken or not, he's going down today. Let's finish this. You're on, Featherface. Shadow, I have a job for you. It's not going to be easy. The target is slick, ninja-like. Probably the hardest mission you'll ever have. Hard. I like a challenge. He'll be dead in a couple of days. Just make sure my payment is ready. All the gold and the rest.
I don't usually ask for names, but this one, I want to know. Solid Snake. Solid Snake, huh? Solid Snake. Why does that name sound so familiar? Peter, I... I've got something to tell you. Yeah, Ernie, what's up? I just hired a hitman to kill Solid Snake. You did what? Why? I think he's dating Hope, my ex-girlfriend. I think he's the reason we split up. You're crazy! There's no way Solid Snake and Hope are a thing. Where did you even get that idea? I've seen them together, Peter. And she's been acting so strange lately. It has to be him. Buddy, you can't just go around hiring hitmen based on a hunch. This is serious stuff. I know, I know. I just didn't know what else to do. We need to be honest with people about us. It's the right thing to do. I know, but I'm worried about how Ernie will take it. We've got company. Just wait for him to step out of the car, and then it's over. Goodbye, Solid Snake. Fasten your seatbelt. I'm going to lose him. What's going on? I'm scared. Trust me. Hold on. Snake, be careful. Almost there. Snake, who do you think was following us? And why? I'm not sure, but I intend to find out. We can't let our guard down. Stay here and be safe. I need to make a call. Hey, it's me. I need your help. Can you meet me for a secret mission? We've got a situation. What are you going to do? I'm going to turn the tables on whoever is after us. I've called an old friend, someone I trust. We're going to find out who's behind this. Be careful, Snake. I always am. I'll see you soon. I've got a tail on me, possibly a hitman. I need to find out who it is. I'm in. What's the plan? Tomorrow you'll take my car and drive a specific route. I suspect they'll think you're me. I'll be trailing in a different vehicle, watching for any suspicious followers. Smart. Make them think they're tracking you while we're actually tracking them. Exactly. We need to flush them out, see who's behind this. And if they take the bait? Then we turn the hunter into the hunted. We'll corner them and find out what they want. You can count on me, Snake. We've been through worse. Thanks. I knew I could rely on you. Snake, do you see anything suspicious yet? No, nothing you... Wait a minute. Listen, pull into the next petrol station. Act normal, start filling up the car. But be careful, our friend might make a move thinking you're me. Got it. Pulling in now. Turn your back to the road. Make him believe it's me. Roger that. Here we go. Bingo. Now all I need is a good vantage point to snipe him. Just one clean shot, and it's done. Don't move a muscle. You're a hard man to find, Shadow, but not hard enough. Looks like the hunter becomes the hunted. Drop the weapon. 
So, you've got me. What now, Solid Snake? Now you tell me who sent you and why. Snake, there's more to this than just a contract. You need to know. I'm your father. My father? You're saying, all this time? Yes. I've been watching over you from afar, but things got complicated when this contract came up. Why? Why stay away? Why take this contract? It's a long story, Snake. I've made mistakes, but taking this contract wasn't one of them. I was never going to harm you. This changes everything. How can I trust you? How can I trust any of this? I don't expect immediate trust, but I'm here now, and I'm willing to make amends. No, what have I done? Snake, it's okay. You didn't know. Stay with me. I'll get help. This can't be how it ends. You were always my greatest mission. My son. Dad, I'm so sorry. I didn't know. I never knew. All this time, you were watching over me. How could this happen? How could I not see? I'll find out who did this. Who set us against each other. This isn't the end. Dad, I'm so sorry. For everything, I promise I'll find out who did this to you. Whoever hired you to come after me, they'll pay. Mr. Snake, I'm afraid I have some difficult news. Your father's condition, it's deteriorating. He may not have much time left. There has to be something we can do, anything. We're doing all we can but it might be time to say your goodbyes. Dad, if you can hear me, I want you to know I won't let this go. Whoever's behind this, whoever used you, they'll face justice, I promise you. I'll make them pay, Dad, I swear. You're gonna tell me everything, now. Snake! What are you doing? This is madness! I'm done playing games. Who hired my father? Who's behind this? It was Ernie. Ernie hired your father. He... he was jealous of you and Hope. Ernie. But why? He thought if he could get rid of you, if he could make it look like an accident, he might have a chance with Hope. I trusted him. I need to confront Ernie. I need to know the truth from him. Ernie, you can't hide from the truth. I've messed up. Snake can't find me, not yet. Where are you, Ernie? This ends now. Face what you've done. I'm sorry, Snake. I never wanted it to come to this. You can run, Ernie, but I will find you. You'll answer for your actions. For my father, for hope, for everything. Mikey! Leo, I need help. You've got to hide me. Ernie, dude, what's going on? You look like you've seen a ghost. Whatever it is, you're safe here. Let's get you hidden. Solid Snake, he's after me. I didn't mean for things to get this out of hand. Don't worry, Ernie. We're going to take you to our safe house in the mountains. You'll be out of reach there. We've got your back, Ernie. But you're going to have to tell us everything. Why would Snake be after you? I'll explain everything. I just... I just made a huge mistake. Donatello, where's Ernie? I know he's here. Snake! 
What are you talking about? Why are you looking for Ernie? Don't play dumb with me, Donnie. If I have to tear this place apart, I will. I need to find Ernie now. Snake, please. Violence isn't going to solve this. What's Ernie done? He's involved in something. Something dangerous. I need to find him before it's too late. All right, Snake. I believe you. The truth is, Ernie came looking for refuge. The guys took him to a safe house. In the mountains. The mountains? Where exactly? I need to know, Donnie. I can't give you the exact location. I understand, Donatello. I don't want to hurt Ernie. I just need answers. Hope, it's me. I, I need your help. Ernie? What's going on? Are you okay? I'm safe. For now. I'm at the mountain safe house. But Snake? He's after me. I'm scared, Hope. Ernie, listen to me. I'm on my way. It's going to be okay. We'll talk to Snake. I'll help him see reason. Do you really think you can convince him after everything that's happened? I have to try, Ernie. He's hurt, he's angry, but he's not unreasonable. We just need to explain everything. I just wanted things to be different, Hope. I never meant for anyone to get hurt. I know, Ernie, and we'll make Snake understand that too. You're not alone in this. Hope, what are you doing here? Snake, you have to listen to me. This, this path you're on, seeking revenge against Ernie, it's not the way. Hope you don't understand what Ernie did. I do understand more than you know, but retaliation isn't the answer. We can resolve this with compassion. Compassion? After everything that's happened? He endangered lives, Hope. My father's, mine. I know the pain you're feeling, Snake, but meeting anger with anger only leads to more hurt. Please, let's find another way to deal with Ernie. Hope, my mind's made up. I need answers, and the only way to get them is to confront Ernie myself. Snake, please, think about what you're doing. Is this what you truly want? To become what you've always fought against? I have to do this, Hope. It's the only way to make things right. I promise I won't let it consume me. Then I'll be with you, Snake. Whatever happens, you're not alone. Snake, please, I can explain. It's too late for explanations, Ernie. Snake, stop! You don't have to do this. Hope, move. I don't want to hurt you. Then don't. Don't do this, Snake. There's always another way. Forgiveness, compassion. Please. I... I can't. Not like this. I'm so sorry, Snake. Hope... I never meant for any of this to happen. I came here for vengeance. Thank you. This... This is the first step towards healing. Dad, we've been through a lot. But we're here together. And we're not going anywhere. We've learned so much about forgiveness. About what truly matters. Your recovery, being together as a family. That's our priority now. Thank you, for everything. For believing in me, in us. For showing me there's strength in forgiveness. We're stronger together, Snake. Always. We'll get through this as a family. Can you believe it, Hope? Once Dad's back on his feet at Sniping Lessons 101 for me, he's like the LeBron of sniping in Fortnite. I can't wait to see you two in action. Just promise me you'll keep it to virtual targets, okay? Absolutely. Dad's all about precision.
He always says, why go in loud when you can take him out with a whisper? A whisper that packs a punch. Your dad's philosophy sounds like something out of a spy movie. Yeah, he's full of those one-liners. In the world of espionage, silence is your dance partner. Well, I'm just excited to see him up and about. You think he'll teach me a thing or two? Definitely. But be warned, his idea of a beginner's lesson involves dodging boogie bombs while balancing on a tightrope. Guess I'll start practicing my dance moves then. Safety first, right? With Dad, it's more like safety third, sniping precision first, and always remember to have an escape plan. But yeah, dancing's important too. He's probably in the bathroom, right? Classic Dad never misses his morning routine. I don't know, Snake. This doesn't feel right. Oh, you must be here for Shadow. I'm afraid he checked himself out early this morning. But he's still in recovery. Why would he leave? He was quite adamant about leaving. Kept saying he had unfinished business to attend to. Something about seeking revenge? Revenge? That doesn't sound like him at all. No, that sounds exactly like him. But who's he after? Did he say anything else? Not much. Just that he couldn't stay here while they were still out there. Honestly, he looked very angry. This is bad, Snake. We need to find him before he does something he'll regret. Yeah, let's get moving. Dad's idea of revenge isn't something you'd want to be on the receiving end of. Thanks, Doc. We need to find him, Hope. If he's talking about revenge, there's no telling what he might do. I just can't believe it. Shadow? On a vendetta? What could have possibly pushed him this far? Dad's always had a bit of a... Let's call it a passionate side. But this... this is different. Do you think he's going after someone specific? Someone from his past, maybe? It's Shadow we're talking about. His past is more tangled than a last season plot twist. Could be anyone or anything. And what about us? Well, I did always want to go on a secret mission with him. Just didn't picture it quite like this. This is serious, Snake. We could get hurt, or worse. I know, I know. But Dad's taught me a few tricks. And hey, You've got that uncanny ability to talk sense into anyone. Together, we're practically unstoppable. Unstoppable, huh? I guess we'll find out. First stop, Dad's Ernie's place. If anyone knows where to find Shadow, it's the ghosts of his past. And people say we live in chaos. These movie characters have it way worse. Right? At least we don't have to deal with alien invasions on a daily basis. Did you hear that? Yeah, that sounded way too real. Like, outside real. That was a sniper shot. This isn't good. It could be Montague and Wildcat. They've been too quiet lately. You're not actually thinking of going out there, are you? Our movie night just turned into a horror show. Stay put. It's probably just a... No, no, no! This can't be happening! Think, Ernie, think. What would Peter do? What would anyone do? This isn't a game! That was a real sniper! One down, just one more to go. Ernie, you oversized poultry, you can't hide forever. Come out. Come out wherever you are, Ernie. It's now or never to face your destiny. This is it, Ernie. The final act in our little drama. Don't disappoint me now. Show yourself. Okay, okay. I need help. Gotta call someone. Holy! That was too close! My phone! This is bad. This is really bad. How am I supposed to get out of here alive? Think, Ernie. Think! I gotta see where those shots are coming from. But how? Ah, uh, there you are. Did you really think you could outsmart me?
Finally, revenge is mine. You should have known, Ernie. You can't run from your destiny. Do you really think Shadow would go this far? Just... just kill them? He's a hitman, Hope. Revenge is part of the job description. He's gone. Call an ambulance, Hope. There's nothing we can do for him now. Please, you have to hurry. We've got someone shot at the mansion. No, he... he's not breathing. Ernie, it's Solid Snake. You need to come out. It's safe. What are we going to do? We can't stay here. We need to find my dad before he causes more harm. Shadow's lost it. But where do we even start? How do we stop him? We start by thinking like him. There's a place he always talked about. A safe house. If he's planning his next move, he'll be there. We're not just going to stop him, Hope. We're going to save him from himself. Let's bring Shadow back. For Peter, for Ernie, for all of us. They all must pay. Every single one of Ernie's friends will feel my wrath. Just the beginning. is happening out there. Come on, show yourself. One more down. Who's next? The turtles, maybe. This is far from over. They will all pay for what happened to me. Every single. One. Live now, jump in and try to beat me. Knock, knock. Anyone home? Oh, I see. I'm just in time for the party. Shredder, your uninvited presence soils our humble abode. Party's over, dude. Time to take out the trash. Oh, I was hoping for a warm welcome. Guess I'll have to settle for a fiery goodbye. Your path ends here, Shredder. Your darkness will not overshadow the light of honor. Honor, please. I prefer victory. And as for you, my green friend. You're coming with me. Let me go, you overgrown tin can. Splinter, a little help here? Michelangelo. Consider this a warning, old rat. I'll be back for the rest of your little family. And when I am, they'll join Michelangelo as my loyal soldiers. Michelangelo, forgive me. The battle is far from over. My brothers will come for me, and your can opener collection won't save you. We'll see, Michelangelo. 
We'll see. What happened here? It looks like a cyclone hit our place. More like a shredder NATO. Splinter, are you okay? I have endured worse, my sons. But Michelangelo, he has been taken by Shredder. Taken? We have to get him back. Yes, Leonardo. However, Shredder intends to turn him against us. We must act swiftly. What about our home? We can't leave it exposed like this. Donatello and Leonardo, you must save Michelangelo. We'll bring Mikey back, Master Splinter. With a little bit of tech and a lot of ingenuity, I'll help save our brother. Be careful, guys. And hey, bring me back a souvenir from Shredder's place, will you? Maybe his defeat. You got it. Let's go. Tonight, we dine on Turtle Victory. The fortress is heavily guarded. Precision and stealth will be our allies tonight. I'm ready. What's the plan? I will lead. My experience will guide us past their defenses. Your youth and agility will be crucial should we encounter unexpected challenges. Understood. I'll cover you. If anything goes sideways, I'll be there. Remember, Leonardo, the essence of ninjutsu is not only in confrontation, but in avoiding detection. We strike only when necessary. And if we're spotted? Then we embrace the shadows as our battlefield. But our goal remains to reach Michelangelo without alerting Shredder. Let's save Mikey and bring him home. Stay close and keep your senses sharp. Our mission is not just about strength, but wisdom. I'll take the one on the left. On my mark. Like a shadow, for Michelangelo. Well done, Leo. Your training has served you well. Now, we must enter the heart of darkness. Stay vigilant. For Michelangelo. For all of us, let's move. The silence here is unsettling. Too quiet. We should be on. Welcome, guests. I've been expecting you. Shredder, your deceit knows no bounds. Let's do this. Did you really think it would be that easy? Release him, Shredder. This is between you and me. Oh, but why would I miss the chance to add another turtle to my collection? Leonardo, forgive me. I must regroup and plan carefully. This is not the end, Shredder. I will return for my sons. Now let's begin the transformation. From brothers to my loyal servants. Your vibe is seriously dark. You ever think about, like, yoga or something? Don't do this, Shredder. You won't get away with it. Silence. Your defiance ends now. Ancients of Shadow, Spirits of Conquest, hear my plea. From bonds of brotherhood we decree a break. Turn these warriors to the Dark Creed. Let their will to mine concede. Isn't there a skip ad option on this spell? Resist it, Mikey. Don't let him into your mind. By this right, I claim their might. From light to night, their loyalty I rewrite. Michelangelo, Leonardo, arise in shadow. Serve the Shredder. We serve you, Master Shredder. Your command is our mission. The hunt for our brothers commences. Your first task is simple. Seek out Raphael and Donatello. Bring them to me, or if they resist, crush them. With the turtles under my command, the city will fall, and then the world. No one can stop me now. The shadows we face now are darker than any we've encountered. Shredder has turned Michelangelo and Leonardo against us. Using our own brothers against us? It's low, even for Shredder. Let's just bash some sense into them. 
We must tread carefully. The bond with our brothers is strong, but Shredder's magic is powerful. We need to be strategic. I've been working on countermeasures to Shredder's magic. Maybe we can break the spell. And I've been working on my uppercut. Maybe I can break his face. We must rescue our brothers with both mind and might. Remember, they are not our enemies. Shredder is. Got it. Tech and tactics. And a little bit of turtle power. Go now. Be swift, be silent, and above all, be safe. I'll bring them back. No tech will be left unturned. And no stone will be left unthrown. I won't fail you. There must be a way to counteract Shredder's dark magic. For the sake of my sons, I must find it. Splinter, still playing the wise old rat. I see. It's over. Your turtles will soon be nothing but memories. And my loyal soldiers. Your quest for power blinds you, Shredder. My sons are stronger than you know. They will not fall to your darkness. Brave words for someone who's about to meet his end. This base, your plans, your resistance. I'll destroy it all. If it is my time, I will face it with honor. But know this, Shredder, the spirit of the ninja cannot be extinguished by flame or fear. My sons will rise against you. Today marks the end of your legacy. Splinter, can you hear me? My son. You can't get rid of me that easily, huh? It seems I still have much to teach you. Shredder's gone too far. We need to end this, once and for all. And first we save Mikey and Leo. Then we take down Shredder and his minions. No more playing defense. Anything in your bag of tricks that can help us track down Mikey and Leo? And when we find them, Shredder's gonna wish he never messed with our family. Patience and wisdom. Remember, we fight not just with our hands, but with our hearts and minds. We will save your brothers and restore peace. This I vow. This isn't over, Shredder. Oh, but it is, Splinter. Your end comes now. Prepare to die, Splinter. This isn't how it ends. What have I become? What is all this hair on my body? Shredder may have escaped, but this, this is just the beginning. I may have lost my human form, but I've gained something else. Something more. If fate has chosen this path for me, then I will walk it. And Shredder, your day will come. think you can beat me, then come join me in our new Red vs. Blue game, Rich vs. Poor. The code is below. The game is live now. Jump in and try to beat me. Alright, where's this giant rat? Let's do this! Be careful, Mikey. We don't know what we're dealing with here. My sons, it is I, your Master Splinter. Shredder is responsible for this transformation. No way! Master Splinter? You're... you're a rat now? This is unbelievable. How are we supposed to fight Shredder if he can do this to you? This change, it is but a new challenge. Our war with Shredder has only begun. We will continue to fight him and his minions. So, you're saying we've got a Master Splinter who's more... splintery than ever? Mikey! Yes, Michelangelo. Shredder will not know what hit him. That's the spirit. Let's ninja kick some shell. We're with you, Master Splinter. No matter what form you take. Listen closely. 
We have a new strategy to deal with our turtle problem. What's the plan, boss? It's simple. We strike at their hearts by taking something, or someone they care for deeply. And who would that be, sir? April O'Neil, the nosy reporter, who's become too friendly with our reptilian nuisances. Kidnap the reporter. That's brilliant. They'll come running straight into our trap. Exactly. Once we have April, the Turtles will have no choice but to attempt a rescue. And when they do, we'll be waiting. And this time, they won't escape. We'll make sure of it. Make the preparations. April O'Neil will be our guest by tomorrow night. And then... the Turtles will. Keep it down. We're not here to cause a scene. Yet. Understood, boss. I've got the tranquilizer ready. Do it. Quick. And quiet. This is only the beginning. Once the turtles realize she's missing, they'll come running straight into our trap. They won't know what hit them. What is this? Why am I here? You're our guest, Miss O'Neill. Your friends will come for you. And when they do, it will be their end. You won't get away with this. The turtles will stop you. Let them try. Your fate, and theirs, is now in my hands. Well done, my sons. Your form is improved, but your minds seem elsewhere. It's April. She hasn't checked in for days. It's not like her. What is our bidding, Master? And Splinter? What of him? Silently over us, it ends. You've grown stronger, Shredder, but strength without... We need to find her. See if she's okay. If Shredder's involved... Command. But, like, how do we start? Do we just... Is like a river without banks. All force, no direction. This is not the end. Stay sharp. This could be a trap. And say... Hey bros, time to turn evil. Understood. You'll never win, Shredder. My students, they will stop you. What Gone to investigate a lead about an evil gang. If you're reading this, I might be in over my head. What are you doing to me? No! I won't let... Right. We need a plan. Splinter, any ideas? You... The turtles will stop you. What is your command, Master? Guys, check this out. What is it? This scent. It's the same one we smelled in Shredder's lair. There's no mistaking it. A decisive clue. Shredder has indeed played a hand in April's disappearance. That means she could be anywhere by now. How do we even start looking? We start by understanding our enemy. Shredder expects us to act recklessly. We will do the opposite. So we're going to play it smart, huh? I say we give Shredder a taste of his own medicine. Agreed. We'll need a plan that's one step ahead of him. Then, let us prepare. Our journey to find April and confront Shredder begins now. This confirms it. Shredder's behind April's disappearance. And he's expecting us to come charging in. We can't just play into his hands. Indeed, we must be strategic. Shredder is cunning, but he underestimates your bond with April and your training. We need a plan that anticipates his moves. Something that can give us the element of surprise. How about a decoy? One of us could pretend to walk into his trap, while the others find April. A wise suggestion, Raphael. However, the risk is substantial. We cannot afford any mistakes. Then it's settled. We'll prepare for every possible outcome. Training, gear checks, and then we move. 
Remember, my sons, the strength of the family lies in each of you working together. Shredder may believe he has the upper hand, but he has yet to face the full might of your unity and resolve. This is it. Everything we've trained for, everything we've been through, leads to this moment. Let's show Shredder he messed with the wrong family. My sons, your courage and unity fill me with pride. Remember, it is not the strength of the body, but the strength of the spirit that will lead us to victory. For April, for Splinter, for all of us. Tonight, we turn the tide. This ends tonight, Shredder. Your reign of terror over this island, over us it ends. Brave words, Splinter. But we both know words won't save you. Let's see if your actions speak louder. You've grown stronger, Shredder, but strength without wisdom is like a river without banks. All force, no direction. Poetic, but misguided. Strength is the currency of the new world. And I am rich, Splinter. Richer than you could imagine. You always did talk too much. Let's see how you fight when words fail you. This is not the end. Oh, but it is for you, old friend. You've taught me well, but not well enough to defeat me. Consider this your final lesson, Master Splinter. Ah, Splinter. How the mighty have fallen. And to think, you once taught me. You'll never win, Shredder. My students, they will stop you. Your students? You mean those overgrown turtles? By the time I'm done, they'll be too busy attending your retirement party. In chains, of course. What? What are you doing to me? Consider it an upgrade. Your very essence will be transformed. You'll see the world my way. Through the eyes of power and domination. No. I won't let you. Oh, but you will. And the best part? You'll thank me for it. After all, who needs enlightenment when you can have power? The turtles will stop you. By the time they realize what's happened, it'll be too late. You, their beloved master, will be the one to lead them into my trap. What is your command, Master Shredder? We plan the fall of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. This is going to be delightful. Now, let's get down to business. We have four targets, four opportunities for chaos. And with you by my side, Splinter, they won't stand a chance. Show me the targets. Here, Leonardo. Always the leader, always predictable. We'll catch him off guard. And Michelangelo, he's the wild card. Exactly why we hit him where it hurts. His beloved pizza joint. A little explosive surprise should do the trick. Donatello and Raphael. Donatello's tech savvy will be his downfall. We'll use a virus to lure him out. And Raphael, he's all brawn and no brain. A direct confrontation will bring him down. You've thought of everything. I always do. Tonight, Splinter. We rewrite history. To victory. She should be here any minute. Hope she likes pizza. What the? Shredder! But how? Splinter? Surprised to see your old master. Turns out, he's been enlightened. Leonardo, your training was incomplete. Allow me to demonstrate. Splinter, no! This isn't you. You'll pay for this, Shredder. Splinter. Please fight it! Consider this a warning, Leonardo. The storm is just beginning. Ninjas in a half shell. Turtle power. Man, this tune never gets old. Whoa, dude. Talk about a hot ride. 
But seriously, who's ruining my evening cruise? Splinter? No way. You've got to be a look-alike. Or under mind control. There's no mind control, Michelangelo. Only the truth. Prepare yourself. This isn't you, Splinter. Whatever Shredder's promised you, it's a lie! Dude! Not cool. Why, Splinter? Why? Consider this a lesson, Michelangelo. Not everyone is as they seem. And with this algorithm, we'll be able to track Shredder's movements in real time. Genius, if I do say so myself. What the? That's not supposed to happen. Unless... Shredder! Impressive setup you have here, Donatello. It would be a shame if something happened to it. You won't get away with this, Shredder. And Splinter, how could you? Your reliance on technology is your weakness, Donatello. Let me show you the strength of true discipline. Splinter, why? Consider this a lesson in humility, Donatello. No amount of technology can replace true power. Come, Splinter. Our work here is done. Finally, some peace and quiet. Just me, the sun, and the soothing sound of the... Who dares disturb my relaxation time? Shredder, you've got a lot of nerve showing up here. Splinter? No, this can't be right. You're supposed to be on our side. Always ready for a fight. But today, you face not one, but two adversaries. Raphael, your anger has always been your weakness. Let us teach you the consequences. I don't know what Shredder's promised you, Splinter, but you're better than this. How could you, Master? See, Splinter? He still calls you Master. How touching. Let's leave him to ponder his misplaced loyalty. This isn't over. We'll stop you, no matter what it takes. To us, Splinter. To our unbreakable alliance, and the downfall of those meddlesome turtles. To victory, Shredder, our enemies stand no chance. Look at them, Splinter. Scattered, defeated, lost. We've done what many thought impossible. Yes, the turtles are weakened. But we must remain vigilant. They are not yet vanquished. Ah, always the strategist. But you're right. This is only the beginning. The island is ours for the taking. And with you by my side, no one will dare oppose us. I serve at your command. The turtles will not recover from this. Let the world witness the rise of a new empire. With your intellect and my strength, we're unstoppable. The world will bend to our will. Behold, it is I, your doom. Uh, can we pretend I made a cooler entrance? Shredder, my old pupil. Must we go through this charade again? Your heart wasn't in that attack at all. Yeah, man, you've got the element of surprise down, uh, surprisingly bad. Silence. I've meticulously planned this for a few minutes. Perhaps it's time to consider a new hobby. Gardening, maybe? It's quite fulfilling. Or knitting. Imagine the sweaters, Shredhead. Your mockery fuels my vengeance. I shall return. And next time, I'll bring it to better lighting. If you change your mind about the gardening, I have an excellent beginner's guide. And if you want knitting tips, my door's always open. Dude, it's Shredder. He's in the awesome Red vs. Blue game from Seasons. We have to stop him. You go flank from the side, I'll attack from the front, eliminate Shredder, get the diamond, and win this game. You little frog wannabes. 
you won't be. Our turtle power wouldn't be beaten by Shredder. Hey you, make sure to come join us in this red versus blue. The code is in the description and on screen. Hey there girls. Lovely day for some, uh, non-villainous activities, right? Aren't you? Nah, couldn't be. Yeah, that guy. Total square. Am I right? So, any of you up for teaming up? I'm really good at... Uh, teamwork. Isn't that the dude who tried to take over the island? That was a misunderstanding. I'm all about peace and love now. See? Peace and love? From you? That's rich. Good luck with that, buddy. You'll see. I'll be the most redeemed character this side of the island. Just you wait. Sure, man. We'll be rooting for you. Right after pigs fly and the storm clears up for good. Mock me now, but I'll find a way to win you all over. Treader's on a path to redemption, whether you like it or not. Hey, uh, cool cars. Mind if I join in? Always had a thing for speed. Wait, aren't you... Nah, what would Shredder want with a friendly neighborhood race? Something's off. Last time I checked, villains don't just show up to race for fun. What's the angle, Shredder? Angle. No angle. Just trying to, you know, do normal things. Make friends. Maybe even change my ways. Friends, huh? With your track record, we're gonna need more than just your word on that. Yeah, and maybe start by not trying to trick heroes into thinking you're all about speed and fun. I see. I guess I can't blame you for doubting me. Sorry to bother you. Hey Shredder, if you're serious about changing, it's going to take a lot more than wanting to join a car race. Actions speak louder than words. Show us you're really about that hero life, then we'll talk. Hi, uh, lovely day for a latte, right? Mind if I join you? Well, that's one way to make an entrance. Aren't you Shredder, right? What brings you here, trying to conquer the world one coffee cup at a time? No, no, you've got it all wrong. I'm just looking to blend in. Thought I could learn a thing or two from the best. Blend in? With us? After all the chaos you've caused? Yeah, and knocking over tables isn't exactly the way to our hearts. Or anyone's, for that matter. I see. Guess I'm not cut out for this hero business. Or sitting in cafes. It's going to take more than good intentions to change. Start small. Maybe don't try to sit with the heroes on day one? And maybe work on that entrance. Subtlety is key. Mind if I join in? Always up for a good game of football. Uh, oh, isn't that Shredder? What's he doing here? I thought he only played dirty, not football. This can't be good. Just play it cool. Maybe he's not so bad. Watch this, guys. I'm not all about that villain life. Well, that's one way to lose a football. You sure you're not trying to kick us into next week? Maybe stick to your day job, Shredder. Football's not your thing. Right, maybe I overdid it a bit. Sorry about the ball, guys. No worries. It's just a game. But maybe you're too... intense for our beach football league. Thanks for the laugh, though. You're welcome to watch. From a safe distance. Who was I kidding? A villain trying to be something he's not. What a joke.
Toretta, what brings you to this lonely corner of the city? Yeah, dude. You look like you lost your last friend. What's up? I... I tried to change. To be someone else. But everywhere I go, I'm just... the villain. Change is never easy, Shredder, but it's not impossible. Why do you seek this change? Because I'm tired. Tired of the hate. The battles. I want to make things right. Bro, if you're for real, we might be able to help. But it's gonna take work. Lots of it. Yes, redemption is a path, not a moment. If you're willing to walk that path, we can guide you. You do that? After everything? Everyone deserves a chance at redemption. Even you, Shredder. Plus, we've got pizza. That's a good start to any friendship, right? I observed closely, Shredder. These moves are the foundation of our art. I'm ready. Show me. Whoa, Shred dude. You're picking this up faster than I learned to skateboard. Impressive, Shredder. Your dedication to learning is commendable. Thank you, Master Splinter. I am here to learn and change, after all. Fools. They actually believe I've changed. This will make my ultimate victory all the sweeter. Here you go! Nothing like a good pizza to seal a new friendship, right? Indeed. Friendship, like trust, is built over time. This is where we make our stand. With Shredder's help, we can finally turn the tide. Yeah, and with the new gadgets Donnie whipped up, we're gonna be unstoppable. Unstoppable, you say? Let's test that theory. Shredder, what is the meaning of this? Dude, tell me this is just a really bad joke. A joke? Oh, this is the funniest thing I've done in years. You actually believed I'd change? We trusted you, Shredder. We offered you a path to redemption. Redemption? For the weak. Power is all that matters. And you just handed me the opportunity to crush you. Master Splinter, I... I'm so sorry. I thought... The fault is mine. I let hope cloud my judgment. But this is not the end. We will rebuild, and we will stop Shredder. All right, crew, listen up. I've got this sick plan that's totally gonna dunk on those turtles. We're bringing in Solid Snake. Yeah, you heard me. Solid Snake? Dude's a solo act. And against the turtles? Come on, he's not gonna swipe right on that. That's because you haven't heard my epic plot twist. I'm cooking up a story so juicy, Snake's gonna wanna binge watch it. Oh, let me guess. Some telenovela where Leo runs off with Snake's girl, Hope? Bingo! We frame Leo as the bad guy, swooping in on Snake's girl, and bam! He's on our side. Man, you're out here writing fanfic. Solid Snake teaming up with us because of a love triangle? Bold move, Chief. Laugh it up, but when I'm chilling with Solid Snake, and we've got the turtles on the ropes. We'll see who's got the last LOL. Night boss, if you pull this off, I'll eat my headset. But hey, popcorn's on me for this drama. Keep doubting, team. But when my plan's got us winning, I'm taking my victory lap. Now, let's get this show on the road. Mystique, I've got a job that's right up your alley. It's got drama, deception, and a touch of romance. You've piqued my interest. What's the play? It's simple. I need you to transform into Hope, Solid Snake's so-called better half. Then, find Leo at the pizza joint downtown and give him a kiss he won't forget. And let me guess, you'll be lurking in the shadows, camera in hand, Ready to snap the moment and stir up some real trouble? Exactly. Imagine the chaos when Snake sees his girl smooching a turtle. He'll be so blinded by betrayal, he'll join our cause without a second thought. I'm in, but not just for kicks. 
Those turtles have been a thorn in my side for too long. With your talents and my strategic genius, we're unstoppable. Get ready, Leo. This is one pizza party you'll wish you skipped. Don't worry, I'll make it convincing. Leo won't know what hit him. This is going to be the shot heard around the island. Get ready for your close-up, Leo. You know, Leo, life doesn't get much better than this. Pizza, peace, and... Hey, Hope, what's up? Joining us for some za? Gotcha. Hope, what? What are you doing? This isn't like you. And scene. Let's see how Solid Snake likes this performance. Dude, since when did you become a chick magnet? Especially one that's supposed to be with Solid Snake. I, I have no idea. Something's not right here. cover behind the jeep. Great. We're sitting ducks out here. Listen, we need to show we're not here to fight. We've got to get Snake to listen. Easier said than done with him taking pot shots at us. Here goes nothing. Solid Snake. We come in peace. We've got urgent news for you. If this doesn't work, I'm blaming you. Trust Shredder? Not on your life. What's his angle this time? I have information I have to tell you about Hope. Talk fast, Shredder. What's this nonsense about Hope? It's Leo Snake. He's betraying you. With Hope. See for yourself. That's it. The turtles are finished. Time to move. We capture Hope now before Snake has a chance to confront her or Leo. Let's make sure this misunderstanding goes all the way. Everything okay here? Afraid not. Seems like we're stranded. Any chance you could give us a hand? Sure. Let me take a look. Think she'll buy it? Just follow my lead. Well, your engine's fine. Seems like a trick to me. Ah. Must have been a temporary glitch. But we're nowhere near home. Could we trouble you for a ride? All right. Hop in. But I'm keeping an eye on you two. You know, to thank you properly, how about dinner at my place? I promise, it's not a lair. I mean, lair free zone. Dinner, huh? This is either the most elaborate kidnapping or the worst first date. Oh, you'll find I'm full of surprises. And my culinary skills are not to be underestimated. Well, as long as you're not serving turtle soup, I might just take you up on that. So, tell me more about yourself, Hope, and how you became so adept at spotting car troubles. Let's just say I've had my share of encounters with tricks and traps, but tonight, I'm just hoping for a good meal. I need to see Leo now. Leo is not here at the moment. May I ask why you seek him? It's personal. If it's about Hope, she's not here either. We haven't seen her. Keep an eye on him. His anger may lead him down a path he cannot return from. I'll track his phone just in case. Guys, we've got a situation. Solid Snake just stormed in here looking for Leo, and he was not happy. Solid Snake? What does he want with me? Yeah, and why the long face? 
Did someone steal his cardboard box? It's no laughing matter. He was asking about Hope, and he seemed really upset. I think it's related to that bizarre kiss incident. This misunderstanding could escalate quickly. Snake is not someone we want as an enemy. Wait, you think he believes that one of us with Hope? Exactly, and if he's acting this rashly, who knows what he might do next? Michelangelo, reach out to April. See if she can get a message to Snake. Donatello, keep trying to track Hope's location. On it, bro. Let's hope April can help us smooth things over with Snake. And I'll keep an eye on any unusual activity in the city. If Snake or Shredder makes a move, we'll know. We can't let this misunderstanding tear us apart. We're going to fix this. Looks like Shredder's goons didn't get the memo. Party's over, fellas. Memo? They can't even read a stop sign, Donnie. I've got an idea, but it's risky. You game? Since when have I ever said no to risky? All right, high shell on three. One, two, three. Catch me if you can, tin cans. Going somewhere, Donatello? Shredder, you won't get away with this. Any last words, genius? Yeah, see you in the next reboot. It was a mess out there. Shredder's goons everywhere. Donnie and I, we got separated. Separated? But where's Donnie now? Raphael, tell me everything. What happened to Donatello? We were outnumbered. Had to split up. I made it out, but Donnie... I don't know. Last I saw, Shredder was there too. We must not jump to conclusions. Leonardo Michelangelo, you must go to the train station. Look for any sign of Donatello. But, Master Splinter, what if... What if he's... Hope is not lost yet, Michelangelo. We must act swiftly. I should have never let him out of my sight. This is not the time for blame. We are a family, and we will face this together. Go now, my sons, and bring us back some hope. We'll find him, Raph. We have to. Have faith, Raphael. In times of despair, our bond is our greatest strength. This silence, it's unsettling. Yeah, way too quiet for a showdown spot. Let's split up, cover more ground. Michelangelo, come here. Is that Donnie's? It is. This, this isn't good. We can't jump to conclusions. Maybe he dropped it while fighting? Or it was torn from him. We need to get back, plan our next move. Revenge needs to be swift and precise. What if there are more clues here? We can't leave just yet. I need to know what happened to Donnie. Mikey, it's too dangerous. We're vulnerable if we stay. Then go. Get everyone ready. I'll catch up. I, I have to do this. Be careful, Mikey. We can't lose you too. I will. And Leo? Thanks. Hang in there, Donnie. I'm not giving up on you. Donnie, you've got to be out there, man. If Shredder's laid one finger on you, I swear, he's gonna pay dearly. We're not just gonna let this slide. Shredder's gone too far this time.
turtle's end is near. Michelangelo's fiery demise marks the beginning of their end. With Michelangelo's fall, the turtle's demise draws ever closer. Two have already met their fate. Leonardo and Raphael will soon realize that their efforts are futile. The end of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles is at hand. This city will remember the day when Shredder extinguished the light of its so-called heroes. So how could you leave Michelangelo alone in such peril? Master Splinter, I thought it best to regroup and plan our next move. No, my sons, we cannot afford to be divided. Unity is our strength. Leonardo Raphael, you must find Michelangelo immediately and together confront Shredder. We understand, Master. We'll bring Mikey back and end this once and for all. Gotcha now. I know where your secret lair is. Once and for all. Leonardo, Raphael, be cautious. Shredder is cunning and... Master Splinter? What happened? Are you okay? We heard a noise? Master Splinter, please answer us. It's too quiet. Something's not right. Look at this, Leo. Gas canisters? Shredder's planning something big. Master Splinter, where are you? And where's Mikey? He should have been back by now. Raph, wait. This, it's a setup. We need to get out. Leo, the door. End of the line, Turtles. Did you really think you could evade me forever? We're not afraid of you, Shredder. You've lost before and you'll lose again. Yeah, come and get us, Tin Face. We're right here. Bravery or foolishness? It matters not. Today, your saga ends. I would have handled that way better. <laughs> Shredder! Okay, who's messing with me? If this is another one of your pranks, it's not funny. Alright, show yourself. I'm not playing games here. When I find out who's behind this, they're going to wish they were never born, or reincarnated, or whatever. Fire vs. Ice is a thrilling game where you battle your way to victory by collecting your team's crystal and bringing it to your throne. Will you be toasted like a marshmallow or frozen like Elsa? The game code is on the screen now, and in the description, you have the Inferno's Fury. The glaciers resolve, climb the ranks, dominate the leaderboards, and claim your glory. Headshot. And tame the blizzard. Be sure to drop a like and favorite the game. This will help to prevent power surges when electricity is restored. Jeff, tell me you saw that. Tell me you heard something. Boss, the perimeter's clean. Scanners show nothing out of the ordinary. Might be the late movie nights getting to you. This is no joke, Jeff. I heard, I saw, never mind. Just keep everything on high alert. I'm not taking any chances. You got it. I'll double check the cameras and sensors. Everything will be tight as a drum. Ghosts or not, I'm not letting anything disrupt my command. Not on my watch. Coming for you, Shredder. Just a dream. It was just a dream. Shredder? You will pay for what you've done to us. No. This can't be real. You're dead. I made sure of it. This... This is impossible. Ghosts don't exist. This is just a trick. 
but who's behind it? Jeff, you have to believe me. It was Michelangelo, in my room. He... he hit me. All right, boss. Let's take a look. You stay here. I'll check it out. Room's clear, Shredder. No sign of anyone or... anything. Might have been a bad dream, yeah? A dream? Do I look like I'm imagining things? He was there, Jeff. As real as you and me. Understood. I'll increase patrols inside the compound, just to be safe. Try to get some rest, boss. We've got this under control. Rest? How does one rest with the dead seeking revenge? Tony, you won't believe the night we're having. Shredder's seeing ghosts now. Claims Michelangelo paid him a visit. Our fearless leader is afraid of Ninja Turtle spirits? What's next? The Easter Bunny laying siege to the compound. Had me check his room and everything. Empty, of course. Maybe we should start patrolling with vacuum cleaners instead of guns. You know, Ghostbusters style. But seriously, if he's cracking, what does that mean for us? You know how tight he runs this ship. If he's losing it over whatever this is. Yeah, that's no laughing matter. We depend on his orders. If he's seeing things, what's our next move? Let's keep this between us for now. Last thing we need is a panic. But keep your eyes peeled, all right? For anything out of the ordinary. You got it. Ghosts or not, we'll keep the compound safe. That's what we do. Shredder, your reign of terror ends. We will have our vengeance. You're nothing but a memory, Leonardo. How do you plan to exact your revenge? You will soon find out we are not confined by the physical world anymore. It happened again. Leonardo was here, threatening me. You have to believe me. Sir, the office is secure. There's no sign of any... intrusion. Maybe it's stress, sir. You've been under a lot lately. This isn't stress. They're here, and they're after me. Increase the security. Do whatever it takes. I'm not imagining things. Understood. We'll double the patrols and review all the security footage. We'll get to the bottom of this. What's the matter, Shredder? Scared of a few shadows? I'm not afraid of you. Jeff, get in here. Sir, what happened here? It was Raphael. He's here, taunting me. You just missed him. Sir, there's no one here but us. Could it have been a malfunction with the equipment? A malfunction? Do I look like I'm making this up? He was here. I'll review the security tapes, sir. If there's something here, I'll find it. For now, maybe. Take a break from training. Thought you could escape us by hiding behind your gadgets, Shredder? Think again. Donatello, how are you doing this? What do you want from me? Just a friendly reminder, Shredder. You can't hide from us. Not even in your own fortress. Sir, everything looks normal here. The systems are secure, and there's no sign of a breach. Why are you shooting at nothing? But it was all here. Donatello's voice. He was taunting me. 
There's no evidence of hacking or external control, sir. It might have been a glitch, a temporary system error. No, it wasn't a glitch. They're here, and they're playing games with me. Splinter, you have to help me. It's your students, the Turtles. They're haunting me, seeking vengeance. Treasure. The spirits of my students are beyond my control. They seek justice for the wrongs you've inflicted upon them. This is a path you've chosen. And now, you must walk it alone. But there has to be something you can do. I regret my actions, but this torment is unbearable. But the spirits of the turtles are bound by the deeds of the past. Only through facing what you've done and seeking true atonement can you hope to find peace. So, there's nothing, no way to make them stop. The path to peace is long and fraught with challenges. It begins with yourself, Shredder. Look within, confront your past, and perhaps in time, the spirits will find their rest, as will you. Approaching two guards stationed outside. Got it, Kit. I'm on it. Michelangelo won't be a prisoner for long, and Valeria's days are numbered. Two guards, huh? Looks like a walk in the park. Be careful, Kat. We don't know what Valeria has up her sleeve. When do we ever, Kit? But we always come out on top. Go get him, sis. I'm going in. Keep your eyes peeled. Roger that. Good luck, sis. So much for a stealthy approach. Thanks for the assist, Kit. Anytime, sis. Watch out for the second guard. Two down. Time to find Michelangelo. Well, 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 if it isn't the notorious cat. To what do we owe the pleasure? I'm here for Michelangelo. And your reign of terror ends today, Valeria. Oh dear, you think you can just waltz in here and disrupt my plans? It's not just me you're up against, Valeria. You've got the whole Kit Kat squad to worry about. Kit Kat squad? How quaint. But you'll find I'm not so easily defeated. Don't stay in one spot too long. I'll cover you. Move fast. Got it. Making my move. You think you can defeat me, Cat? I am invincible. Now, Cat, she's weakened. Your reign of terror ends now. You think this is the end? I will always come back. Impressive work, Cat. Michelangelo is lucky to have you on his side. Let's get Michelangelo and get out of here. We've got more adventures ahead. Some kind of ninja cat? Something like that. I'm Cat, a hero from another dimension. My brother Kit and I are here to save you. Amazing! You're like a superhero. My brothers have got to meet you. We can do introductions later. Right now, we need to get out of here.
guys are like the ultimate rescue team. Just doing what's right. Now let's get you back to your brothers. You must be Cat. Michelangelo has told us so much about you already. Thank you for bringing him back safely. Just doing what needed to be done, but the fight's far from over. Cat's amazing, Leo. She and her brother, Kit. They're like, like ninja cat superheroes from another dimension. Another dimension, huh? That's quite the backstory. We could use someone with your skills. Will you join us in our fight to save the island from evil? There's more at stake than just the island, Leo. Pandora's box has unleashed evils that threaten every dimension, not just yours or mine. We need to be ready for whatever comes next. Then we'll train harder, fight smarter. We're no strangers to threats, be they from this world or any other. Yeah, and with Cat on our side, we're unstoppable. I'll rally my Cat family too. Kit's already on board. We'll need all the allies we can get. Welcome to the team, Cat. Together, we'll keep this world safe. I'll be in touch. Stay sharp, turtles. Get out. You're coming with us to Montague. You've meddled in his plans for the last time. Yeah, thought you could just mess with Montague and walk away? Big mistake. Kit, I'm in trouble. Ambushed on my way back. I need backup. Hang tight, Cat. I'm on my way. Calling for help? No one's going to save you now. Yeah, let's see how your brother deals with Montague. Can't believe how easy it was to snag her. Montague's gonna be thrilled. Yeah, she messed with the wrong crowd, now she'll pay. Ambush! Ambush! Cat, you okay? Thanks to you, yeah. We need to get out of here before more of Montague's goons show up. Let's get you home. We'll make sure you're safe. Montague will pay for this. We'll be ready for him. It was a close call, Meow. Montague's men ambushed me. We're dealing with more than just random attacks. I should have known he'd be bold enough to strike directly. Are you hurt? I'm fine, thanks to Kit. But we can't let our guard down. Pandora's box has unleashed chaos, and Montague is just the beginning. We'll need every paw and shell ready for what's coming. I'll gather the old gang, call in some favors. We're not just defending this island, we're protecting our dimensions. I'll ensure our defenses are up to par. We'll train, prepare, and when they come, we'll be ready. And I'll reach out to our allies. If Montague thinks he can intimidate us, he's in for a surprise. Let's get to work. This island isn't just our home, it's our battleground, and we don't lose on our turf. What in the multiverse is this place? Fire tornadoes, a giant hand, seriously? All I wanted to do was play some games. Now I'm running for my life. I really love the new game from Super Fresh. Candy vs. Veggies, the code is on screen now. Go check it out. Whoa, dude, check it out. Is that kid in a mech suit? 
Negative Mikey, that's someone or something else. But hey, you need to get out of here, Kitty. This place is about to blow. Kit, mech suit, I just got here and I don't even know what's going on. No worries, feline friend. Just follow us and we'll get you to safety. Radical? Yeah, and keep an eye out for any weird boxes, okay? They're trouble. Weird boxes? Tornadoes of fire? Ninja turtles? My nine lives are definitely not enough for this place. Hang tight, new kitty friend. It's gonna be a bumpy ride. We need to find shelter, and fast. like you've been in a garage sale. Whoa, you're like a high-tech version of me, but sleeker and way cooler. Your suit looks like it's from the 90s. What's with all the gears and bolts? Hey, it's classic, but wow, yours is like the next level. What is that, AI integrated? Yeah, and it's got more gadgets than you can shake a tail at. But listen, I just got here, and there's a fire tornado outside, and now I'm talking to myself. I'm freaking out. Okay, okay, deep breath. We need to get to Mom and Dad. If anyone can figure this out, it's Lynx and Meow. Mom and Dad? You mean we have parents here? Yeah, and they're the coolest cats you'll ever meet. Come on, we don't have much time, and trust me, you're gonna love them. Stick with me and watch out for the fire tornado and pretty much everything else on this island. What have I gotten myself into? Lynx, talk to me. What's happening? Why are we racing towards that chaos? A mother knows me out. I can feel it in my bones. Kit's in trouble and it's connected to that inferno. We need to get to the Pandora box now. Stop the car. Lynx, what is it? Talk to me. There's something else, Mio. Not just the box, not just Kit. I sensed another presence eerily similar to him, but different. Another presence? Like Kit? Yes, but it's not him. We need to find them before it's too late. <laughs> 